outings. He had 28 in the victory in the first round against Western Kentucky. Yeah, and he's not only talented, Mark, he's a guy that wants to score and thinks score. So that makes it very tough. He's very aggressive, but he shoots a high percentage. He's very sh- over about 52% on a guy that's a volume shooter. Tough to fa- tough guy to guard. Yep, 42% from downtown. He's a shooter. He can penetrate. He'll find open spots, pop and, you know, sh- stop and pop, rather. And then inside, Oso Igadoro. They don't have, uh, as we've talked about, kind of an Eddie Lampkin, you know, and Fale Dante kind of guy. He's more of a high post, skilled kind of guy out there. Shoots a very high percentage, by the way, almost 60% in the top 25 of the country in field goal shooting percentage. Yeah, he, he, I would call him a, a kind of a modern age four man. You know, yeah. he, can, he can face up, take you off the dribble, very light on his feet. Not going to shoot the three, though. No, not a three point yeah. shooter, but he will shoot anywhere from, you know, free throw line and down. Yeah. And he's so quick. We saw he faced up the other night on the on the left wing over there, took it to the basket. For a guy that's 6'10", 6'11", very quick and light on his feet. So Eddie is going to have to deal with that challenge out there tonight. Now, conversely, as we talked about with Florida, they had similar kind of big guys. They're going to have to deal with Eddie on the block, and they wanted no part of that. So it's going to be interesting, I think, early to watch Eddie's physicality on the block against a guy like Igadora. Yeah, he, uh, in the scouting report, they talk about he does not like contact, contact at all. And we saw that against Florida. Eddie really dominated those guys because they didn't want any piece of that. So on his on his offensive end, Eddie can bu- put body on him, get really close to the bucket on his duck ends. And, and by the way, if you thought Eddie was kind of a big deal and a fan favorite, uh, you know, back in Boulder, you got to see him here in Las <laughs> Vegas last week. He became, you know, a superstar there. Fans here in Indianapolis to fall in love with Eddie as yeah, well. Yeah, the way he loves the game, the way he <laughs> seems to be having fun out there and talking to everybody and anybody, uh, people just fall, fall in love with that. All right. Now, the Golden Eagles from a defensive standpoint. Uh, we talked about the numbers before the break. They're averaging nine steals a game. Uh, they force 15 turnovers a game. They average 19 or thereabouts points off turnovers. They're going to be raking like crazy. Ball security, extremely important. Yeah, they want deflections. They want knockaways. I think they're like ASU, but more talented. You know, ASU that, plays yeah. the same way. Arizona yeah. State, they like to reach in and grab, get knockaways, get deflections. Same thing Same thing's going to happen here today. You have to be strong. You have to use pass fakes, shot fakes, and two-footed jump stops in the lane. Because if you don't, they thrive on transition. Yeah, once they get a deflection, they're using their athleticism, their quickness, and they are converting, thus the almost 20 points a game on points off turnovers. And this is the kind of game, because of that, when you play these teams that really feed off that kind of thing, Scott, you don't want to get yourself in a 10-12 point hole early, because it seems like they just ramp up because of it. Yeah, I mean, they're, uh, we used to call them front runners, Mark, when, when I was playing. That meant guys that play well when you're ahead, they feel loose, they shoot the ball better. You don't want to give them a 10-point cushion where they feel comfortable. It's been a long time by the way, since Colorado and Marquette have played. In fact, the last time they did was 1987. There was a guy named Wilkie at 15.6 rebounds and a technical foul in that game, by the way. I saw that, too. What kind of attitude did you have as a I don't know, man. I'm sure I was probably complaining about a foul call, but, Mark, I didn't shoot a, I didn't miss a field goal. I noticed that. Seven for seven. <laughs> I think your buddy had 26 in that game, didn't he? Yeah, Matt Bullard had 26, but we still yeah. lost. Yeah, oh yeah, got beat pretty handily, in fact. 83-68. They've only been four times. Buffaloes have won once, by the way. That was in Milwaukee. And so Mil- the Marquette uh, Golden Eagles, they weren't the Golden Eagles back in the day. They were the Warriors. And that was when Jay Humphreys was running the point that, when, that's they, right. when they won in Milwaukee. Yeah, and so uh, the Eagles have won three of the four meetings, but again, it's been uh, a generation and a half since the uh, Buffaloes and the Golden Eagles have met. They're going to meet this afternoon here in Indianapolis in the second round of the NCAA tournament. The Buffaloes are 26-10. and 10. The uh, Eagles come in at 20 six and nine both finished in the top three of their conference both are very athletic teams both like to get up and down the court a little bit not going to be that high scoring game I think this is a toughness game in some respects I do too toughness not necessarily in physical but mental toughness too where you take care of the ball and Mark I think one thing is really key is a little more patience today than we saw Friday and by the way rebounding okay you know how how big rebounding was against Florida watch that in this ball game Colorado is one of the better rebounding teams in the country this uh, Eagles team comes in by Minus three a game, Scott. Colorado should be able to dominate the boards against the Eagles. Yeah, I get the impression, without watching them too much, they like to just use their athleticism. They're not someone that's put a body on you. You There's chances to go for the offensive rebounds. What a great opportunity as the Buffaloes can go to the Sweet 16 of the 2024 NCAA Tournament with a win here today in Indianapolis. It's Colorado. It's Marquette. 
This is Bus Warm Up presented by Safeway. Sign up for Safeway for you and receive $5 when you spend $25 or more. Download the Safeway Deals and Delivery app and claim your welcome offer in the Deals Gallery, Safeway, Fresh Foods, Local Flavors. Way to go courtside with the head coach of the Buffaloes, Tad Boyle. That comes your way next. This is Colorado Basketball from Airfield. Today we have two very special guests on our program. Introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor. And it's caffeine free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip. Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Fubo is the official streaming platform of CU Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable. That's FUBOTV.com. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. This is Colorado Basketball from Learfield. Future belongs to everyone, so we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Have your power of choice with Ford's lineup of gas, electric, or hybrid vehicles. Outperform the competition with America's best-selling trucks for 47 years, Ford F-Series. Take the road less traveled in a Ford SUV, perfect for the mountains, city, and everywhere in between. Or check out Ford's lineup of electric or hybrid vehicles, like the Ford Maverick, Mustang Mach-E, or F-150 Lightning. Inventory has arrived. Head to your local Ford stores today. Based on 1977 to 2023 CY total sales. Aw, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. Never fear. Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes, Sync My Game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow, uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. Hey, it's Toby from Wendy's. Our new breakfast burrito is a fully loaded breakfast. <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough time to tell you everything that's inside. <gasps> Two fresh cracked eggs, seasoned breakfast potatoes, six strips of bacon, cheese, cheese sauce, wrapped in a warm flour tortilla. Yes! And now, come and get it. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new breakfast burrito. Only at participating U.S. Wendy's eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. It's time to take your court side with the head coach of the Buffaloes, Tad Boyle, on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Buffs get a great win a couple of days ago over Florida, 102 to 100. Now they take on Marquette here today, head coach alongside. Yeah, I don't think uh, my heart got below about 100 beats per minute for about eight hours after that game on, on Friday. Yeah, that was a hell of a game, especially for fans. It wasn't a, wasn't a great game for a coach who, who really likes to pride, uh, pride himself on his team's defensive efforts, but... Uh, you know, what's amazing about this tournament, Mark, is you're a part of a game like that. You don't really realize it maybe until it's over, how special it is. And uh, But the unfortunate part, uh, there's there's unfortunate part and fortunate part. The unfortunate part is you can't really enjoy it because yeah. you've got to yeah. turn around and get ready for the next one. The fortunate part is you're getting ready to play again, and you're not, you're not heading home, and your season's not over with. So, you know, we want to make this thing last as long as we can, and and uh, that was a, a great, great basketball game. You do kind of get lost in the blur of what's happening, don't you? I mean, today's going to be our sixth game in 11 days. We enter the regular season on the road, Oregon, in Vegas, to Dayton, here. It, it's amazing the blur that, that this has all become. It is the blur. There's no doubt. And, you know, sleeping in hotel rooms, eating hotel food, and, and you know, it's just uh, going from the bus to the gym. And But you know what? This is what it's all about. This is fun. This is when uh, the players are really enjoying themselves. And I think... 
you know, when you're a coach, it's kind of like being a parent, Mark. You know, uh, when when your kids are happy and they're having a good time, you're happy. And that's how I feel, you know, over these last few weeks because we've had a lot of fun. Uh, we want it to continue. That's that's the big thing. And, and, and today is obviously a, a big hurdle in that happening, but uh, it uh, should be another heck of a game. You know, if, if I was a better broadcaster, I'd come up with a better name for this. We've already got the miracle of Michigan. I don't know what you would want to call the shot here in Indianapolis by KJ. But, and, I, and, and to your point, I'm not even sure you can appreciate it that right now, what happened and what that meant and, and what it did. But uh, kind of take us through that play and what you were hoping to do here at the end of the ball game to get that win. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of times when the other team scores, you know, we want to get the ball out quickly and rush it up the floor uh, and, and maybe attack before the defense is set. Unfortunately, after they scored that three, ball bounced a little bit. Uh, it took us a while to get it out of bounds. So by the time we took it in and got the ball in play, their defense was back and set. So there was plenty of time. I think it, you know, 10, 11 seconds. Uh, KJ sprinted up, got you know, timeout called. Uh, six seconds to go is plenty of time to get a great shot. And I just wanted to make sure we all knew we were supposed to do the spots we we're supposed to be in and 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 we executed a game you know that that play perfect to perfection and, and this it's a two-part play you know kj and, and eddie have a kind of a two-man game we're trying to get eddie to the rim uh and then kj slipping out into space for an isolation drive and if that's not there then javon hadley and tristan da silva have a kind of a two-man game up front where they can play games and and, and uh off screens and, and slip outs and then Cody Williams, you know, taking the ball out of bounds, good passer, good decision maker. He made a great decision getting the ball to KJ. So, and he, we got it in space, and he made a play, and, and the rest is history. I think the best coaching that you did there was to make sure they didn't swish it, but have it bounce back and forth to burn some more time. That was genius on your part. Yeah, I told KJ, make sure that ball hits the <laughs> rim four, five or six times before it goes in. And, in. and he did it. You know, it was amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, one of the more interesting, and I, I think this speaks to your team, but one of the more interesting numbers is the fact that uh, the Buffaloes are the first team in, in forever that had four, or all five starters, by the way, 10 plus points, four assists, four rebounds. That talks to the versatility of this team, hasn't it? Yeah, and the balance. Yeah. And, and then, you know, and Cody coming off the bench at nine points, three assists, no turnovers, uh, had a couple rebounds. So, like, I just feel like this team and uh, the the – not that we're an extremely deep team playing a lot of guys, but even the guys coming off the bench that, you know, uh, Ruff comes in the other night, BD comes in. And, and uh, uh, so, so yeah, the balance we have, the depth we have, and, and, and those five starters. Uh, and, again, I look, at, I look at the fact that we have six starters because Cody started, you know, majority of the games this year, and uh, now he's coming off the bench. But, um, yeah, I, I, I love this team, and I love the versatility and the depth. The Buffaloes and the Golden Eagles of Marquette here in the second round of the NCAA tournaments in the South Region in Indianapolis. We'll go ahead and take a timeout. More courts out with Tad Boyle after this. This is Colorado Basketball from Learfield. Today we have two very special guests on our program. Introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor. And it's caffeine free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip hop could be hop hip. Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Fubo is the official streaming platform of CU Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V dot com. If you're an unconditional, wholehearted, and ever-so-loyal Buffs fan, you deserve to pay like one everywhere you go with the free FNBO CU Visa debit card. Fuel your fandom all season and beyond with a debit card just for you. It's free with any checking account from FNBO, an official bank of CU Athletics. Get your free CU Visa debit card at any branch or at FNBO.com slash Buffs. Member FDIC. If your day sounds like we need the report ASAP, you deserve Medella. If you've persevered through, you 
deserve this rich golden lager with a crisp but refreshing taste. Or if you overcame, you deserve this ice cold reward. Modelo, the mark of a fighter. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Port, Chicago, Illinois. Today's game is brought to you by eBay Motors. Burn rubber, not cash, by shopping on eBay Motors. eBayMotors.com. This is Colorado Basketball from Learfield. In America, the future. belongs to everyone, so we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Have your power of choice with Ford's lineup of gas, electric, or hybrid vehicles. Outperform the competition with America's best-selling trucks for 47 years, Ford F-Series. Take the road less traveled in a Ford SUV, perfect for the mountains, city, and everywhere in between. Or check out Ford's lineup of electric or hybrid vehicles, like the Ford Maverick, Mustang Mach-E, or F-150 Lightning. Inventory has arrived. Head to your local Ford stores today. Based on 1977 to 2023 CY total sales. Progressive presents Renter's MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second-grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more than watching super-rich housewives also yell at each other. Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. We continue with the head coach of the Buffalo's, Tad Boyle. It's Colorado and Marquette for the right to move on to the Sweet 16. Marquette comes in under Shaka Smart, 26-9. and nine. They finished up second in the Big East. They knocked off Western Kentucky just before the Buffs came on Friday here in Indy, 87-69. to uh, 69. All right, let's get into this team here a little bit. I guess there's a reason they gave them a number two seed, right? Yeah, there is. They've got they've got good depth. They've got good balance. Uh, they've got two great guards. Um, Tyler Kolick uh, leads the country in assists. They're both left-handed, which is kind of unusual. Yeah. Um, and then, and then the Jones kid uh, is our leading scorer that can really shoot the ball. You know, Jones is a lot like Cousinard from Oregon, who has had an unbelievable NCAA tournament and a great year. Um, we're used to now. Cousinard's right-handed. You know, Jones is left-handed, but big, strong, physical guards that can shoot the ball from three, can drive it, can put it on the floor. So, um, both Kolick and Jones are left-handed. A uh, big part of this game is to try to get those guys off their left hand. Uh, not that they can't go right, but they're much less effective as finishers, scorers, and passers because Kolick is a elite-level passer. Yes. Again, he leads the country in assists. It's kind of like playing against a quarterback that leads the yep. country in, 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 in yards and in completion. So uh, they, they're terrific. And then they got a big kid, Igodaro, inside that uh, sets screens. He can score the ball. He's very crafty. Uh, they don't really play through him in the low post like a lot of the teams we've played here recently. But he's a terrific player and he can facilitate at six foot ten, um, which a lot of guys can't do. So they they got some guys. You know, you mentioned uh, Kolick when we sit down before the game the other day, and I'm watching the second half of that ball game. It took about three trips, and I was like, "Who in the world is number eleven? Tell me, you've got a guy that's got that kind of vision. The way he passes, you know, you think of of you know Steve Nash, Magic Johnson, John Stockton, those kind of guys." When they when they pass and have that kind of vision, uh, obviously the on ball defense is very important. But but off the ball, what what are you what are you trying to do to make sure that they can't be effective? Well, I think the big thing is you want you want one guy to guard him. If you put two guys on him and he drives by, you know the initial defender and he keeps coming, and then there's a secondary defender comes, he's going to find the open man because he's a again elite level passer. So you want to guard one on one with him and keep everybody else home. And if we can do that, we got a chance. Um, but if we don't, he's going to find the open man. And now you're in rotations, and he's very, very good at it. The, the thing that impresses me the most about him is his passes are always on time, and they're always on target. I mean, he hits guys right in the shooting pockets, and they are, they're, they're like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, they're just stepping up and towing the line at the three, and they've got some guys that can knock it down. And lastly here, uh, between you and, and your assistant coach, Mike Rowan, who has a scout on this one, I've heard you guys talk about they defend like UCLA. And, and then it sounds like they thrive in, in transition, correct? Right? Yeah, they, you know, they're very physical. They get up into your space. Um, they're aggressive. And they, they are really in the gaps raking uh, 
physically. So we got to be really strong with the basketball. We have to have great cutting game. We have to cut guys out of the gaps and drive double gaps. Much like we tried to do against Boise, uh, didn't do a great job of it, only scored 60 points. But uh, these guys play with great energy. Uh, Shock, they get that from their coach, Shock is smart. You know, is a big energy guy. And uh, we've got to match that. And we've got, to, we've got to be a physical basketball team that can take care of the basketball because Marquette thrives. Again, 18 and a half points they get every game from opponents' turnovers. They got 21 of them from Western Kentucky yeah. and beat them by 19. So uh, we've got to take care of the basketball. It's the Buffaloes and the Golden Eagles for the right to move on to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament as they meet here in the South Region in Indianapolis. We're we'll going to take a timeout. Coming up next, we've got starting lineups opening tip off of a big game here in the dance. This is Colorado Basketball from their field. Today we have two very special guests on our program introducing Lem hey. and La. Or at self checkout. Pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Bank. Member FDIC. When your people are ready, your business is ready. Cintas makes sure they have what they need to perform their best. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, fire protection systems that are tested and inspected, first aid and safety supplies, floor mats, or cleaning tools and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together, so visit Cintas.com and get ready for the work day. Make it a real mad march with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this march for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, ow, ah, I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. On the Marquette University Golden Eagles Sports Network, from Learfield, turn it up, it's game time, live from... Indianapolis, Indiana. This is Win Trust coverage of Marquette basketball. Win Trust, Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette. Also brought to you by Software One, official digital cloud and software partner of Marquette Athletics. Centos, ready for the workday. Buffalo Wild Wings, let's go sports bar. Right height, where we're always looking ahead. Sitgo, with Sitgo, you're good. Good to go. Qdoba, making the world a more flavorful place. Hush Blackwell, a different kind of law firm built on a culture of selfless service. Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative, putting members first, pursuing better health care. And by Potawatomi Casino Hotel, all in to win. The tip is moments away. Now, here is Homer, along with Hall of Famer Tony Smith. This one is easy, to go to the Sweet 16. Then the second weekend, that's what it's all about. I'm Homer along with the Hall of Famer, Tony Smith. You want to join my club there, buddy? Um, uh, yes, sir. That's a, that's a club I'm happy to join. This and, is it. And everybody on this team that was on the team last year knows exactly what happened last year and doesn't want it to happen again. Correct. They know what's at stake. They, they, they remember. I'm sure they were uh, reminded of that feeling. Uh, of the loss, and I guarantee you, as a player, uh, getting the chance to do it again. First of all, it's a rarity. You don't often get a chance to come back Great and do it point. again. 
and they have a chance, and I promise you that uh, Same they're, group they're ready. Other than one guy. Yep, I promise you they're ready to go. They do not want to go home uh, feeling the way they did last year. Colorado is a 10 seed. They have won 10 of their last 11, losing only to Oregon in the Pac-10 final. They lost in their conference final. I'm feeling like a little something now. I better get out here, Homer. Sign, put me in. Put me in. Yes, Give I me would. a jersey. Let's go. I would. I'm ready. Well, they could use you, Colorado, because they have no bench. <laughs> right. And this, they played on the 20th, and they beat Boise State. They had one of the extra games, the play-in. Mm -hmm. And then two days ago, they had the game against Florida where they won 102 to 100. I mean, they just, they don't have a bench. They right. had a couple guys, they're hurt, but they all guys are playing 35. And Shaka Smart used his bench less in the game against Western Kentucky because it got close. Yep. And but listen, the, the, the deal is here, Here's here my question. This. Okay. Are they tired? I mean, Colorado has to be tired. If you can be tired, maybe you can't. Yeah, there, there's a possibility they could be tired, but the thing is, in their mind, they're not tired, right? You're Mentally, you're not tired. Because they're on a roll. Well, I mean, you feel good about where you are and what you're doing. You know you got an opportunity here uh, to do something special, so your mind is not tired. The, the problem is your body can sometimes deceive you, right? So mentally, you're not tired, but physically, you're a half a step slow, uh, and that can cost you in a lot of different situations, but they're not going to feel that mentally, so they're going to feel like they're they're up, they got a lot of energy, now if the game gets up and down, that could be a factor for them, legs-wise, it's going to it's gonna catch up to you eventually, like you said, they had to do the playing game, then they played the other night, so, uh, but the, the good thing for them, they're very young, and... I tell you what, they're they're feeling good. When you start to feel good and you and you see something like you got a chance, all that tiredness goes away. Starting for Colorado, Tad Boyle in his 14th year. The guy who hit the game winner, KJ Simpson, a 6'2 junior. The other, he's their leading scorer, Tristan De Silva, their second leading scorer, the 6'9 senior out of Munich. And we got to mention this guy, Eddie Lampkin. He's as big as a house, maybe as big as two houses, and that's going to be a huge challenge for Oso. But he's been against other, up against other big guys. Yeah, but I mean, it's going to be a huge challenge for the team. You got to look at their, they got a lot of size in their starting lineup. Uh, they're long. We know Marquette tends to give up some offensive rebounds, so it's going to be key for the guards to come back. We need five guys on the defensive glass. And I think the other thing you got to remember, uh, Homer, like people, you know, they get so caught up in the seeds. Like, you know, Colorado's a 10, right? That is irrelevant. That's a right. 10 throughout the year, right? This is one game. It doesn't matter and what they, they were during the season. Right. They haven't played like a 10. They just beat right. a 7 and It just matters what you are today. Right. And it's the same thing for Marquette. You're a 2. You got to be a 2 today. You, you can't be a 5. You can't be a 6. Yep. You got to be a 2 today. And you got Taylor Kolick. Everybody's expecting him to be 100%. He seemed to be that way against West Kentucky. Played a ton of minutes. So Cam yep. Jones, Stevie Mitchell, Tyler Kolick, Oso, and David Joplin. The two other starters that I didn't mention for Colorado, Luke O'Brien and Javon Hadley. But yep. note off the bench, they have an outstanding freshman who could be gone after this year, even though he's not in the starting lineup, Cody Williams. And he's got an older brother playing in the NBA. So, yeah. But that's that's basically their six guys. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. They they, right. they they won with it the other night. Yep. And they beat a, a higher seeded Florida team. Yeah, just uh, I know Florida was missing one of their guys, but it doesn't matter. Uh, again, like I say, I don't have to be. Um, I don't have to be good throughout the season. I got to be good today, right? Right now, for two and a half hours, I got to be really good. And anybody can do that. It just depends on the attitude you want to have. Marquette 26 and 9, Colorado 26 and 10. If I was on this team, I'd walk out there and go, that's Michigan State. That's Michigan State from last year. Yeah, have it in mind. Yeah, you, you got to have a chip on your shoulder. But again, they've, they've, they've gone through it last year. Like you said, they know that feeling. Yep. They certainly do not want to have that feeling again. They do not want to go home again. Right in front of us, Eddie Lampkin. How big is he? He's uh, large. He I'm going to say a, he's, a, he's a double X. Yep. He's one of those transferred. Played earlier at TCU. Uh, by the way, uh, if you didn't know this, uh, Colorado made the uh, Final Four in 1955, losing to San Francisco, which was no big surprise because San Francisco was led by the greatest winner in the history of basketball, Bill Russell. Yeah. You didn't beat him in college, and you didn't beat him in the pros. All right. This is weird because Lampkin's not jumping center. They're using De Silva against Oso. Yeah, De Silva's just as tall, but you know, Lampkin's big. He's not going to get off the floor. 
too well for you. Oh, so what another one. Marquette starts with the basketball. Colorado man to man. Olick 40 feet away. And then gives up top. Joplin. Wide open three. Oh, it's your boy right away. Gotta love the start. The Silva came over, but a little late. And Joplin shot it from near the top of the key where he does not shoot it that often. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm not sure what Colorado was doing. Marquette up 3 0. It's going to be a good matchup, guard matchup, though. Yes. And Tyler Cole does not want to be in the, in the block <laughs> with, with the big fella there. Simpson has it, dumps in the corner. Open three, around and out. Rebound tapped. Got to get on the glass. He's got it. Cam Jones got it. He spins on the dribble. He gets the nice rebound. Hadley missed the shot. Close. Up top, Oso 30 feet away. Marquette up 3 0. The Marquette fans can sit down. Easy layup. A free game layup by Cam Jones. What happened? Yeah, uh, Lapping got caught in the middle. Again, he's not the fastest guy. He's a big body, but. He was trying to decide whether he wanted to come over and help on Cam Jones, but it was too late. Hadley gets the ball to Lampton. He has it top of the circle. Trying to get it to De Silva. Now gets it to him. He'll go to the basket and dunk. Marquette, the double team, and De Silva wide open down the lane. Marquette yeah, that's what happens when you decide to trail on that high screen and roll. He just does a curl all the way around on you. Kolick has it, drives out of the basket, then to a flash to Joplin. He lost the pass out of bounds. It was waist high, and he would have had a layup. Just bobbled it and out of bounds it goes yeah, if he could, he could have possibly, it maybe if he could have bounced that a little tough for Joplin Hanno in traffic KJ Simpson brings it up helping out Lampkin KJ Simpson shot blocked by the new shot blocker <laughs> Jop whacked it easily off the backboard Marquette brings it up trailer is Joplin he'll try another three little too hard points long Marquette has it Cam Jones open three oh, wow yeah. That's the guy you want to get going right there. They Cam just Jones. stole that three. Missed the three. Long rebound. Marquette up 8-2. Yeah, We're two minutes they had, in. They had two breaks there. Joplin erased an, an absolute layup. De Silva gets the ball back to Simpson. They're still outside the arc. Into the corner, O'Brien. He'll try a three. Rim's no good. Long rebound. Oh. Marquette Mitchell, he had it knocked away <laughs> by De Silva. The De Silva has it 30 feet away. Lampkin, 10 feet away, left of the lane. Double Lampkin's team. That's a good pass, though. Yep. It's, he's tried to get it inside, but Joplin there defensively. Ball knocked free. Joplin has it. Marquette with a turnover. Great yeah, team and, defense. Uh, yeah, early on, you see him playing with that, you know, that urgency that I talked about. If they're going to have. Open three. Around Ooh. and out. Heartbreak. He thought it was down. Rebound comes to Hadley now in the front court. Simpson. Simpson beyond the three-point arc. Into Lampkin. He's triple team. Still gets free, lays it up, counted in a foul, and Tyler Kolick, I don't know if he's wondering, like, somebody tried to knock, the key is, he puts the ball at the waist, you talked about it, knock it away. Yep. They couldn't, he made the basket, and he will try the three-point play. Eddie Lampkin, again, played at TCU before coming to Colorado. Marquette up by four, 8-4, we're about three minutes in. The tempo has been quick, as you would expect, with Colorado. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the good thing for, for Marquette right now, what looks good is they're getting some good looks. Yeah. Right? They're able to run their offense. They're, they're manufacturing some good looks. Free throw is good. Marquette up 8-5. They got to get uh, they got to figure out these curls uh, from Colorado, though. They're getting some, some also getting some good looks. Oso helps out top of the circle. Hands back to Kolick, 25 feet away. Kolick drives. He's under the basket. Jump pass in the corner to Mitchell. Out to Joplin. One step. Joplin dribbling, backing in on the Silva, spinning, turning, still in the lane, turns, turns again, then back outside to Cam Jones. They got eight to shoot. Cam Jones, three in the right corner. Nope. Rebound pulled down by Colorado. And bringing it up is Simpson. K.J. Simpson across to O'Brien. He's under the basket. Oh, he stepped out. Yep, throws back outside to Lampkin, back to O'Brien. O'Brien in the lane in the corner. Hadley was open. Yeah, Hadley still feet one. away in the lane. Back to Simpson. He'll step back. Try a three. three. No good. Long rebound. Marquette and Cola. Got away with one. Because he was too open. Well, it's just, that's not a good shot. Marquette up three. Eight, five. Kolick on a drive. Right Kolick to the basket. Lamp is want. good. So you want Tyler, Tyler Cola coming off left hand of that pick and roll. He's, he had, he's deadly. He had no problem with K.J. Simpson. Yeah, K.J. is too small. Tyler's going to love that matchup anytime they get in the paint. Marquette up 5, 10, 5, Simpson 40 feet away. Lampkin, top of the circle. A couple of dribbles left of the lane. Now 10 feet away, still dribbling. That would be 7 dribbles. His pass deflected, stolen by Marquette. Got three it's on 3 one. on 2. Joplin gives. 
This is Stevie Mitchell. He lays it up and in. It hung on the rim and dropped through. Good, good English there. Marquette up seven early. And the Marquette fans loving it. They all got the gold jackets today. Now they're looking for a kill here. Two stops in a row. They're looking for the third. Marquette up seven. Simpson double team. De Silva's 40 feet away. Hadley has him now still way outside the arc. De Silva in the corner. A cross-court pass to O'Brien. Back out. The Simpson, he lost the ball out of bounds. And they say it was touched by Marquette. And we got a timeout. Looking good. It's early. Four and a half minutes in. Marquette up seven, leading 12-5 over Colorado. Timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Experience stands out at Color, Inc. That's true for the experiences we create for your customers and the ones we create for you. Our entire crew is unlocking creativity to help you accomplish your goals. Color, Inc. is an experiential communications company. We help you capture attention and inspire action with packaging, visual displays, retail signage, influencer kits, and pretty much anything else you can dream up. Visit www.colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Every Qdoba catering order is a fresh-made Mexican feast of hand-smashed, flame-grilled, sliced, diced, and sautéed flavors perfect for any occasion. Whether you're planning your office's tortilla Tuesday, hosting a post-game party for your intramural dodgeball team, or trying to bring in a dinner for your PTA meeting that's so good, it'll bump your kid up to an A- in Spanish class. Qdoba Catering. Fresh, hot, easy, delicious. Order today. Famer Tony Smith, Marquette looking to go to the Sweet 16, leading Colorado by seven early with four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes in, Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank. Color Inc. is an experimental communications company that creates packaging, visual displays, and retail signage that inspires action. Visit ColorInc.com to book a conversation today. Let Qdoba Catering bring the flavor to your next event, from business meetings to private parties. Qdoba Hot Bars and Party Packs have something for everyone. Visit Qdoba.com to learn more or place your catering order for delivery or pickup. And fans, all season long, Marquette three-pointers, more than points on the scoreboard, each three-pointer made by the men's and women's teams. Milwaukee-based Wright Height has donated $10 to all in Milwaukee all season long. I was in South Bend, Indiana, where Marquette's season ended against uh, Ole Miss. Played a good game, but uh, Ole Miss was a little bit better, and uh, they made some three-pointers, so the women did, so right height donating for those as well. You got to like what you've seen so far, Tony. Yeah, uh, 100%. And the, the thing I like about it, I mean, I know you fall in love with made shots, missed shots, but it's how what shots are you getting? How does the offense look? Does it look like... I can I can get shots here. I can I can run my offense, and the answer right now is yes. I can 100% run my offense. Uh, doesn't doesn't seem like Colorado's giving you a lot of resistance, uh, trying to get to the things you are. But there's still some things. Colorado hasn't made an outside shot yet. They're gonna make some at some point. So you got to be ready for that. And uh, Marquette just got to keep doing what you're doing. Put the pressure on Colorado to find a way to stop you. And their outstanding freshman, Cody Williams, is in the call that. They get it to him on the inbounds. He gets an easy four-foot floater for a score. Something broke down Marquette up five. Yeah, they just lost track of him in the zone. It's, it's kind of hard. You're not on a man. You're covered in the area. Oh, so a couple of dribbles. He's outside the arc, 30 feet away, Cam Jones. Marquette with it, leading by five, 12-7. Joplin. Lampkins on him. Joplin's got to like that. He'll get back out. Tolick, 25 feet away, nine to shoot. Joplin's got a wide open three. Rim short, rebound fought for by Stevie Mitchell. Okay. You can't get any better look than that. Nope. Rebound to Colorado. Marquette up five. Colorado the ball outside the arc. Holding is Simpson. Lampkin now top of the circle. Looking to pass. Holding. Lampkin still holding. Hands back to Williams. 
Williams. Williams drives to the basket. Layup is around and out. Tapped up and in easily by Lampkin. Again, yeah, that's what we talked about. Offensive boards. Colorado is long. They're just, I can already tell how much better they are with Williams. It's one other weapon. Inside to Oso. He gets the pregame stuff off the give from Tyler Pollock. We've seen it that a million was a, times. I dare you to jump. <laughs> I'm going to put you in the basket if you do. We've seen it a million now, a million and one. Marquette up by five, 14 9. Simpson gives in the corner, Williams. Williams back outside to Silva. Back to Williams in the corner. Fakes the three, goes by Joplin. Stop base by Stolen by Joplin. Three on three the other way. Kolick. Kolick in the lane. Kolick back to Joplin. He'll hang. Shoot. Goal. Great transition. Marquette up. Yeah, that's great orchestra by, by Tyler Kolick. He took an angle away from the bucket just to get Joplin in the lane. And Which then you it off love. Him. Yes. Colorado with the ball 20 feet away with it. Hadley gives back out to De Silva. Their second leading score. He has it 12 feet away left of the lane against Mitchell. Marquette looking to double all the time. He'll throw across to Simpson. He's got an open oh. three. Nope, way off. Rebound. Mitchell is high for Marquette. And now Kolick in the front side. Marquette up seven. Kolick. 25 feet away, wing left. Pollock still with it. Now driving in the lane. Lob. Oh, so caught it, but couldn't shoot it. And then dribbled the ball or knocked the ball out of bounds on a pass. It was, it was close to a repeat. Yeah. And, and I, I believe oh, he, he, it was a little too early. He threw it too early. Also was not in position yet. I don't know if he got caught up on the roll. Sometimes you get hit on the roll. It throws you off a little bit. Uh, so, But he was just a hair late or hair early with the pass. Also wasn't there yet. Marquette goes to the bench. Ben Gold, Chase Ross come in. Joplin and Mitchell are out. Gold has it. They're on him. Tight. 25 feet away, Kolick. On a drive. He'll try the layup around it in. And Simpson pulled him out. But Kolick still made it a little further from the yeah, hoop. And that, and that looks like a difficult shot. But when you, it's your strong hand, it's really not that hard a shot. Head up nine. Williams, five dribbles. Can't finish. To Hadley outside the arc. Devon Hadley. Again, they only go six deep. They brought in Williams. Hadley has it. Back out to De Silva. He'll drive to the foul line. De Silva loses it, gets it back. He's low post and finish. The lamp and he'll try the quick hook shot. Good, about a six footer. Yeah, he's I don't know still on inbound here. They just stole it. Yeah, on the inbound. Hadley stole it. He'll go to the basket, loses it, but O'Brien is there. He dribbles away from the basket. Now back out to Simpson. To O'Brien, open three, way off. Rebound, Marquette. Oh, well, for paying attention. The guy we knew it was it. way off because he was right in front of us. Right, right, right. We saw the angle. Marquette up seven with the ball. 12-18 left first half. We're eight minutes in. Kolick into the corner to gold. Williams on him. No three. Cam oh, Jones. Shoot that. Still outside the arc. Cam Jones drives. Spins to the basket. Layup is around and in. With the correct English. That was going to be short. That was medium <laughs> English. He Englished it in. Yes. Marquette. Up nine, 20 to 11. We got 11.55 left first half. De Silva and Lampkin, he's 17 feet away. Lampkin against Oso. Lampkin, one, two, three dribbles. Throws and fast stolen away. Marquette with the double team. Here's Chase Ross, two on four. Chase Ross will go to the basket. He'll lay it up and in. There's got to be a timeout, Colorado. Yep, saw that coming. He did exactly what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, uh, no question. You got to keep it. Make the defense stop you. The defense is sitting there. They don't know what to do. They're in trouble. With, uh, with with numbers on you, and you got to make a decision, and he never made a decision. Chase Ross just kept it and went. It keeps getting better. Marquette doubling up Colorado. 22 to 11. Marquette at the top. We're eight and a half minutes in. Timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Four Banks. Member FDIC. March Madness at Buffalo Wild Wings. Beer, wings, basketball everywhere. This really is my happy place. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, you just feel the good vibes. That's it. I'm done. I will never watch another game. I'm just going to find a patch of grass and lay there forever. Oh, it went in. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, happy place. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness. Let's go, sports bar. Drink responsibly. NCAA March Madness are trademarks of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. 
Marquette fans set your DVRs for new episodes of the MarquetteHoops.com basketball show, 9 a.m. Saturdays on Channel 24. Join me, Tom Pippins, and historian John Dodds as we follow Shaka Smart's top-ranked team and his recruiting. We will relive great seasons and games with former players, coaches, and media. All shows are archived at our MarquetteHoops.com site. That's Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Channel 24. Famer Tony Smith, Marquette looking for the Sweet 16 against the 10th seed Colorado. Of course, Marquette number two. It's been all Marquette, 22 to 11. 11.36 left first half because Marquette is making everything. 72% shooting. On the other hand, Colorado at 39%. They're 0 of 5 three-point shooting. That will not continue. This is a very good shooting team. On the year, three-point shooting, 39%. Yeah, and the thing for Marquette is, as always, right, uh, when is when is that offensive drop going to hit? And what are you going to do during that offensive drop to the other team? Uh, I know, that was, how much, was, that was the other uh, Colorado's last game, 102-100? 102-100. Right. So Florida. what does that mean? They can score, but they also give up a lot of points, right? right? So Marquette now feeling that they give up a lot of points part of it with 22 points already, but... Uh, they still got to keep the pedal to the metal. I mean, you got to... They're creating you, turnovers by knocking the ball away anytime anybody gets it. It looks yeah. like they almost want to double why you gotta team feel, everyone. You got to feel good offensively, right? You got to feel... They gave up 100 points to Florida, who's missing one of their better players. So, yep. well, we got to feel good about ourselves offensively, but... Don't get too lack of days ago. Don't get too lazy, especially defensively, because they also put up 100 points. <laughs> you got to be careful. Right now, you have an absolute advantage because, again... They will give up points. You can run your offense. That's why the offense have looked so good. That's why you've gotten great looks. But you got to continue to execute. You're not going to get those uh, just by being out there. you got to go ahead and execute. Big guy for them, Bangot Dak, a 6'11 freshman. His Lampkin needs a little rest. And he's super long. Yes. The Maybe the skinniest legs I've seen this season. Williams has it 40 feet away. De Silva still outside the arc. De Silva can't go back door to Simpson. And now instead to O'Brien. Marquette double teams him along the baseline. He'll give the ball in to Dak. He's double teamed. Then back to O'Brien, who's wide open, lays it up and in. Pretty good pass. That was a tough pass. He just happened to, to, to catch it. I don't know. It could have easily been fumbled. Marquette up nine. Oh, so 30 feet away against Dak. Stops baseline eight feet away across through the leg. Open three by Mitchell. He missed everything. Didn't that pass go through the legs of Ben Gold? Yeah, that, that was not for Ben Gold, though. No. Williams at the other end. They go back door into O'Brien. Easy layup. He's fouled as he missed the layup. Break for Marquette. I think Chase Ross called for the foul. And yeah, I think so. Colorado's going to get two free throws with 10.49 left, first half. Guess we have another timeout. Yes, sir. And Just we'll what take you a break. 10.49 left first half. Marquette's lead is nine. Colorado will shoot two when play resumes. Marquette basketball from Learfield. You know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey, CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, 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 I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. Hey, Marquette fans. We know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it, too, here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. 
Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette in Indianapolis. It's simple. To go to the Sweet 16, Marquette leading by 9, 22-13, 10.49 left first half. Colorado will get two free throws when play resumes. Whether you're crossing the state line or just going cross town, Sitco top tier try clean Vaseline gets you where you're going. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Sintas will have the Sintas MVP. Sintas delivers everything you need from servicing fire extinguishers and first aid cabinets to stocking restroom supplies and managing uniform and apparel solutions. Get Sintas and get ready for the workday. We saw the starters coming back in, back in the game. Marquette will now have the starting five. Chase Ross and Ben Gold got a little time, but back to the starters. Tyler Kolick, Cam Jones, Oso Godar, David Joplin, and Stevie Mitchell. As they are showing fans with various schools uh, as far as on their uh, sweatshirts or jerseys. And this crowd is, other than Marquette, whatever percentage that is, everybody else is Purdue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they got a big contingency. They're pretty close to here. And that's the way the NCAA wants it. When you're number one seed, yeah. it's pretty close to playing as close as you can to your home floor. Not far from Milwaukee, though. West Lafayette, not far from Milwaukee. They're two seed, but West Lafayette is uh, as close as you could be without playing on your home floor. Okay, and you just saw Simpson Jr. telling the team, hey, we got to get stops, and then we got to run. So they want to push the pace a little bit. Uh, as you said, uh, you might you might think that they might be tired, but you know, you're not getting tired here, Holmes. Williams, no surprise, but uh, Dak doesn't play that much. He'd only play 151 minutes on the year, and they brought him in for Lampkin to rest. That would be the guy maybe you'd be worried about having played now their third game in five days. O'Brien, the free throw is good. He's 65%. Starter, but the sixth leading score was Cody Williams off the bench. He's third at 12 a game, the freshman. Second free throw good, and Colorado has scored four in a row. Simpson bothering Kolick in the backcourt. Kolick now across the stripe, uses the high screen. Still now gives to Ben Gold, who didn't leave. He's still in the game. He'll go to the basket, and he's fouled before he can pass to Mitchell in the corner. So Joplin and Mitchell did come in, but yeah, Ben Gold stayed in. He had his choice there. He had Jobs in the drop in the short corner. Yep. He chose Stevie Mitchell in the far corner. But both guys were open. That's why I say I like how the offense is going. You got a lot of options. Again, giving up 100 points. You got to know Colorado's not that great defensively. Yep. First foul on Colorado. Kolek the inbound. We're just about 10 minutes in. Marquette leading by seven. The inbound pass goes back in the backcourt to Joplin. No problem there. Yeah, even if he touches it, there's no problem. He's got to have control before it's an issue. Joplin dribbling back to Cam Jones outside the arc right side. Cam Jones, 25 feet away dribbling. Cam Jones then further out left for Kolick. Still outside the arc. Kolick on a switch against Stock. Then gives the ball to Cam Jones. Quick three. Go! Oh. Oh. Tony Smith special. That's, that's a steal there. The easiest shot. When you That's make an absolute it steal. and have to shoot right before the shot clock, and is the official checking to see if it's good? Yeah, he got it off. Yeah, I know. I don't know what the the delay is. They're looking now. I, think. I mean, it was close, but it, it was it close. Good. But he got it off. He had to go check. Yeah. I don't know how you know, but you've said it so many times. The easiest shot is when you have yeah. no choice. Yeah, I mean, you just have to stroke it. You can't think about it. Uh, We're going to keep track of the Smith shots. We have the summer filled out about. Now we're going to have the Smith shots when it's right at the shot clock. Cam Jones hits at Marquette at 10. Yeah, hopefully you don't get any of those. You know, you want to have a nice shot before the, at the end of the clock. Doc has it. He won't shoot from there. Hands it back to Simpson. Simpson at the foul line. Backs it up outside the arc. Then further out to the Silva in the corner. Left corner, Williams. Throws across. They like that pass to O'Brien. Oh, the lost. Lane. Pass deflected. Knocked away. Who's got it? Nope. Goes out of bounds. Marquette has done a great job of anticipating those passes. Colorado will skip it way well, across well, the Marquette they're, double. Marquette, as, as usual, right? Their things are deflections, right? They're real yep. handsy. They're active hands. And when somebody's trying to pass, all you got to do is wave your hand, Homer. They talked about how many bad passes are made. People do not use the bounce pass. I want to know how many deflections. And if I put my hand here, yeah. waist high, I'm going to get my hand on a lot of balls. They got four to shoot. 
pull up three. Simpson nearly banked it in. Rebound, O'Brien stole it away from Joplin. They get to keep it now back. And that's just Joplin, Joplin not boxing out and also going over with one hand. You got to go over two hands there. Hadley gives inside. De Silva, 12 feet away. Marquette the double back to Simpson. Kicks in the corner. O'Brien open three. Good. And you got to be careful giving the steady diet of those looks. Yep. Like you said, Colorado can't score. Now he's third. 100. They had a lot of good three point shooters, just about everyone. Yep. Marquette's lead is seven. They match the. Tony Smith shot by Cam Jones. Oso backing in on that. Oso still backing in. Oso now the baby hook. Good! They cleared yeah, out Oso for can, Oso can take advantage of him. He can give him a pump fake. He'll go for those. He got the better of Bangot Dak. He's a reserve. O'Brien at the free throw line. Backing in on Cam Jones. Stops. Then gives to a flashing to Silva. He makes it way too hard. Cleared by Marquette. Good job by Oso to go straight up. Not bring his hands down and get a foul. Cam Jones, he's he trying to feel it. Free. He's Good feeling again. it. He rattled it home. Yeah. Marquette up 12. Yeah, if he starts feeling it, man, well, it's going to be a good day here. What do you have the other night, 20? 20, 28? All I know is you said he's hot, and he was, <laughs> and you're saying it again. Marquette up 12, 830 left first half. Simpson 25 feet away. Simpson on the dribble, top of the circle. Simpson still dribbling. Now 10 feet away. Floater is that's good. A, that's Outside. a earned bucket against yep. Stevie Mitchell. A.J. Simpson, their leading scorer at 20 a game. Marquette yeah, is up 10. Cam Jones got another one. Oso in and a bad pass. He was anticipating Joplin to be, I don't know where, because he was nowhere near. And Joplin was right there. I think Joplin was thinking he was passing that to Cam Jones. Okay, in the corner. Yeah. Joplin was on the wing. Turnover Marquette. Marquette four turnovers. Colorado four. You expect the number to be much bigger. One thing I will Colorado. say, though, Colorado is staying in touch. Yes. As, you know, as good as Marquette looks right now, Colorado is staying in touch. Marquette had a 24-5 to run against him against West Kentucky. Flashing Hadley into the corner. O'Brien, he'll try another three. Nope. Long rebound. Who's got it? Everybody fight for it. It's tapped out to midcourt, and it'll be Marquette ball. I thought Joplin hit it, but a nice whistle. We have a timeout. Marquette will inbound when play resumes. The lead is 10, Marquette 30, Colorado 20, 7.52 left first half. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Learfield. Make it a real mad march with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Every time you swipe your Golden Eagles debit card with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, order online, pay at the register, or at self-checkout, pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board that is member FDIC. In sports, you're always thinking of that next play. It's the same with business. Cintas has the products, people, and solutions that help keep you a step ahead. They'll make sure you have the right work apparel for almost any job imaginable. Provide first aid and safety supplies. Install and service your AEDs. Test and inspect your fire protection systems and regularly stock your cleaning products. So visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Hall of Famer Tony Smith in Indianapolis. Marquette looking to the Sweet 16 by beating Colorado. Marquette up 10, 30 to 27, 52 left first half. Marquette's biggest lead was 12. You mentioned Cam Jones. He had uh, 28 against Western Kentucky. Yep. And he's already at 13. He's got another 28 in him. Nobody from Marquette has more than five. That's Joplin. Colorado, K.J. Simpson, their big score at 20 a game. Marquette has done a good job. Just two points on one of five shooting. Um, Lampkin, the big guy, he was resting. I'll bet he'll come back in. And O'Brien has seven, which is odd because he only averages six and a half. 
Yeah, we saw that the other day, right? The guy who doesn't average a lot getting off on you. Yep. You got to be careful of. But they're leaving him that open shot in the corner on the rotation. They're go they're going to help on the bigs. They're not going to allow a big guy to to, to isolate and go one on one down in the block. So you're going to see Marquette running guys. You see that all the time. It's what they normally do. They're used to rotations. They're they're fairly good at rotations. But we've seen a couple open shots here from Colorado. Let Qdoba Catering bring the flavor to your next event from business meetings to private parties. Qdoba Hot Bars and Party Packs have something for everyone. Visit Qdoba.com to learn more or place your catering offer for delivery or pickup. And again, the Sintas MVP. Sintas delivers everything you need from servicing fire extinguishers and first aid cabinets to stocking restroom supplies and managing uniform and apparel solutions. Get Sintas and get ready for the workday. Colorado up to 42%, but one of eight three-point shooting. All the numbers are good for Marquette. 72% on 13 of 18 and 44% three-point shooting. But you've alluded to it. They're getting the shots they want. Yeah, exactly. The offense is, is running fairly easy, right? Not a lot of resistance. Uh, you know, and that might get that might get a little tougher as Colorado gets a little bit more desperate and scrambling a little bit more. But right now, you got to take advantage of it. Uh, Marquette doing an okay job of doing that. And again, Lampkin is back in the ball game. Marquette works the handoff weave. Chase Ross, Cam Jones to Oso, top of the circle. Oso, a couple of dribbles, hands back to Cam Jones. Cam Jones on a switch against Lampkin. Still 20 feet away. Now in the lane. Jump pass out to Chase Ross. He'll attack. He'll go to the basket. Floater around and in. Nicely done. That was about a six-footer over a tall yeah. O'Brien. Yeah, that was tough. And I like that shot. He can elevate so high. He's got plenty of time to decide what kind of shot he wants to shoot. I think they checked the tape, and they didn't see that one. And uh, Marquette is now up 12, 32-20. Yeah, not, not a mismatch. In De Silva again will open in the corner. O'Brien won't shoot the three. They swing it around. Now outside the arc, Simpson. Top of the circle, Simpson driving, spinning, fadeaway, eight-footer is good. Tough shot. Okay, so he got under control, though, but it is a tough shot. I'm not sure it's tough for him, but he had to work for it. Mark no, he's, 10. he's good at those shots. He hit a lot of those against Florida. Kolick inside to Oso under the basket. Threw it right up the chest of Cam Jones, and Cam Jones with a foul in the backcourt as he ran into Hanley. I don't know that I've seen that all year. Yeah, and Oso's got to go with that. He had, he had the smaller Simpson on him. I don't think he... He, was he knew, behind he the knew somebody was on him. I don't think he knew who it was. Oh, okay. He didn't feel him, so. O'Brien comes out, and now again, to me, it's Betty. I think they're starting five when Cody Williams is in, the freshman, who may be gone to the NBA draft. De Silva inside Lampkin. That's easy. The layup is good. That's right. You can't, can't front him, really. You got to just make him, make him score over you. Marquette up eight in the corner. Joplin, a couple of dribbles back. Kolick has it, 25 feet away, pressured by De Silva. Kolick still with it. Marquette up eight with the ball. Kolick in the lane to the basket, layup around and in. And he got it to spin in and held on the rim. Thought it might come out, went in. Marquette up 10. Okay, put a little English on that. Kolick, perfect three of three and six points. Simpson has it, 40 feet away, Hadley, center of the court. Marquette up 10, 34-24. Yeah, I believe Marquette's got to, they really got to turn their defense up a little bit. Yeah. Colorado's also getting some easy looks. De Silva, 30 feet away. De Silva still dribbling. Yeah, the De size, Silva the size in the lane here. against Kolick. To the basket. Shoots and around it out. Rebound tapped around. Great effort by Marquette. Kolick saves it as he dives into the Marquette bench, and now he'll bring it up. Marquette up 10 for the basket. Right here. Another, another bucket here. Yeah, I want a cushion just like you say. Marquette just turned it over. Yeah, also wasn't rolling though. And now in the front court, Hadley back outside Simpson. Oh, open look. three, good. Yeah, that's what Colorado wants to do. They want to run and get up and down. Simpson, a great three-point shooter at 44%. Marquette's lead is down to seven. It was as big as 12. Kolick, 30 feet away left side to Joplin in the left corner against the Silva. Joplin now 10 feet away, back out to Oso. Oso with it, dribbling left of the lane. Oso. Tries to hand back for Kolick. It's knocked out of bounds. It'll be Marquette ball. Tough possession. Down to 10 on the shot clock and nothing open yet. Colorado trying to get on a run. And you're right. You know one's coming. You yeah, just uh -oh. want to have the cushion, you yeah. take it, and then respond, right? Well, you, well, you, yeah, you want to have the cushion, right, to absorb a little bit of it. But then you want to also, you got to cut it off. You got to run something. You got to get to something, uh, which should be pretty easy, though. Ben Gold comes in. I think they're going to try to set him up for a three. 
Oh, they're, so gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna stretch the big guy out. They're not gonna allow him to sit back in the paint like he can against Oso Lake right here. Oh, Lake back to Ben Gold, fake the three. Now into the corner, Joplin, wide open three. Holla at your boy. I don't know why he rushed that, but he did. Perfect <laughs> pass. Why? Because he looked at the shot clock and he was at about three. Yeah. There was plenty of time to get a shot off. That doesn't qualify as a Tony Smith. No, it does not. Marquette up 10. Williams. Carried it. Oh, they called a foul. I think they call a foul. They call a foul on Joplin. Bumping to Silva. 447 left first half. Marquette That's a big has, answer there. has been in control throughout. The lead now at 10. Cam Jones, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, has two fouls. Yeah, and they, and they saw what Ben Gold was going to do to Lampkin. Uh, they got him out of there immediately. He's just he's not going to have the ability to guard uh, Gold on the perimeter. Yep, Lampkin resting. They had to get him out. De Silva at the free throw line. Further out to O'Brien. Now in the corner, Hadley a three. Good. I, they can shoot it. Yeah, they're running, a little, they're running a little flex cut. He has an option to go either way, depending on what the defense does. And he got a wide open look. He's 42%. Marquette's lead at seven. 4.30 left first half. Kolick dribbling. Now in the corner to Gold. He'll drive. He'll go to the basket. And the ball knocked away by O'Brien. Oh, Do they foul. call a foul? Oh, yeah. Finally. Yeah. No, they called it early. You just couldn't hear it. It's kind of a soft whistle. He was kind of looking for maybe a... Uh, he was going to dump he's that. He's going to bring the power hammer. <laughs> he was definitely going to bring it. All right. Ben Gold will shoot two. And there's this battle going on with the big guys in terms of if Lampkin's in or not and then Oso. And, well, well, yeah, I think Marquette's going to go big is what I think. Oh, all right. Ben Gold will shoot two. First free throw around and out. Heartbreak. Marquette's lead is seven. 37-30. That was the first free throw. Colorado has had and made their three. Now you're right. Pollock's going to rest. Marquette goes two bigs. How will Colorado respond with Tad Boyle? And uh, he's going to respond as both free throws miss. Yeah, again, we can't have in. that free throw bug. Nope. De Silva brings it up. De Silva, and yep. they're going to get a charge. Boy, they're lucky. I'm going to tell you, put it real simple. If they call that foul, that last basket against Florida should have had a foul. That move by De Silva was not as big as the move by Simpson at the end of the game. Do you agree? Uh, but it's the, end, it's the situation. This is right. this, this wide open, almost, you know, at, at the logo area. But you straighten it's, the lead arm. It's in the wide lean. open. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, you just can't displace a guy. Even if you, like, tuck it in there, they're oh, going to see Maybe he it. slipped. That's what they said at the end of the game. <laughs> Uh, he just slips all the time. That's, that's Cam Jones has two fouls. He brings it up. Yeah, Marquette got away with one there. Missing two free throws. Yep. Not what you want to do. Cam Jones, double team. Cam Jones can't get it to gold in the corner to Mitchell. Mitchell will drive. He's under the basket. Now dribbles outside. Now back in the lane. Further out to Joplin. Open Joplin again. three. Missed everything. Did De Silva touch it? He came across on it. Joplin missed I everything. So. Well, I was not going to miss that bad. We have a timeout. 3.57 left first half. Marquette has been as ahead by as much as 12. Now it's 7, and Colorado will bring it up. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey, Marquette fans. We know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it, too, here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Make it a real mad march with a playoff payout at Pottawatomie. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this march for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Pottawatomie, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. and Hall of Famer Tony Smith in Indianapolis playing for the Sweet 16. It's that simple. Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank. Marquette is led by as much as 12. The lead now at 7, 37-30. Whether you're crossing the state line or just going cross town, Sitco top tier tri clean gasoline gets you where you're going. When you start with Sitco, you are good to go. Color Inc. is an experimental communications company that creates packaging visual displays and retail signage that inspires action. Visit colorate.com to book a conversation today. Colorado, the 10th seed. Marquette, the number two seed. 
Colorado. This is their third game in five days. Beat Boise State. Yeah, they weren't. A, they were one of the play-in games, 60 to 53. Then beat Florida, 102 to 100. Marquette, of course, the win over Western Kentucky by double digits, even though they were outscored, outscored over a stretch, 24 to five. And I'm not saying that's going to happen, but you know Colorado's got a run in them because they can shoot and they score a ton. Right, you said they're they're good three point shooters. They got a ton of yep. them, and right now they're getting some they're getting some open looks, and that's always dangerous when you give a good shooting team open looks because now you got to match them offensively. Well, I got a question for you. Yep. Are you happy up seven when you're Marquette and you're shooting seventy three percent on sixteen of twenty two? 46% three-point shooting. The problem really has been turnovers with six, but you're not going to shoot that 73% the whole game. No, 100% you're not. And that, that's why I say you got to take advantage of, of their defense or, or lack of defense and, and, and take it to them. But you also you got to get some stops there. you got to strengthen some stops. You can't have big big runs, right? you, you got a cushion right now, uh, but you got to keep that cushion. By getting some buckets every now and then, you gotta, gotta, you gotta go inside. You can't just, you know, stay out perimeter, just because Colorado, Colorado stay in perimeter. Yeah, they were two of their first six. They've hit ten of their last eighteen, so they're making shots. Williams, the freshman, will bring it up. Marquette with some three-quarter pressure. De Silva, right back to Williams. He's already across the stripe. Chase draws on him. Williams in the lane to the basket. Layup is good. Too easy. Marquette's lead is five. Kolick. He's going to go to the basket. He'll though. lay it up and in. Simpson. I thought they were going to say count it in a foul. Yeah, Simpson's too little. He's yeah. going to love that matchup. When they get in the paint, Simpson can forget about it. Kolick, 8.44. Simpson has it, 40 feet away on the dribble. Simpson, stop and go. Now further out to De Silva. De Silva, top of the circle. De Silva, ball knocked away, got it back, knocked away again. He's dribbling 30 feet away, lost the ball, got it back. Hadley then gives up. They get five to shoot. Simpson, long three, missed it. Long rebound to Marquette and Kolick. Marquette up seven with the ball. Kolick gives to a flashing Mitchell to the basket. He fouled hard. The shot, the layup off the side of the backboard, but who cares? Because Stevie Mitchell shooting two with Marquette up seven and 308 left first half. Yeah, that's a good push on a, on a shot like that, that. That long three, get a long rebound. Off to the races. Stevie Mitchell. Has scored just two points, but has three rebounds. They'll go to the line. Marquette up seven, 39-32. Free throw is short. Well, they got to get Marquette their free throws is, figured out. Yeah, Marquette is 0 of 3 free throwing, and that has been a problem in recent games. Just not shooting as well as you know they are. And 0 of 3. That's, 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 that's one of those stats. You just don't want that to come bite you. Yes, because you start thinking about it, right? Oh, you 100% Mitchell. you start thinking about it. The game gets close, starts to get on your mind, and you want to make these early ones just so you feel like you got in the flow yeah. and you're going to knock them down when it great counts. Play. Ben Gold missed two. Mitchell got the second one, so Marquette's lead is eight. Simpson again clears out Mitchell, gives to Williams on a drive in the lane, pull up 15-footer good. Yeah, he's long. He's, he's good. scary. Averages 12, the freshman, third leading scorer, starts on the bench, but he's bench only in terms of the start of the game. Marquette on the we perimeter, down low. Joplin wants it, Oso has it, they double team him, he's in the corner, needs help, back out to Kolick, they got 15 time, to shoot, Kolick jumped past to Joplin, they covered him, no three, he'll take the silver in the lane, fake, fakes again, shoots, banks it, in and out, heart break. cleared no. by Lampkin and Couldn't get the English that he wanted. In the front court, the Silva, quick three, no good, oh, that was huge. That was an open Tony Smith three, right? Uh, you were worried. It was in transition. All right. Oh, Chase yeah. Ross, he stuffed it. That's Ooh. what I want to see right there. That's the Chase Ross. That's the, the one you want to see. Coming. The hammer's coming. All right. I'm penetrating for a dunk. I'm not getting there just to get a layup. And he did. That's highlight. Marquette up eight. Two minutes left first half. That's like a five-point swing because they had a transition three. Missed it. Williams with it. Williams to the basket. Oh, Shot Chase blocked Ross. by Chase Ross. And then he looks at him. That was impressive. Now I knew who's going to guard Cody Williams. <laughs> That's good. You got the freshman. Williams a little thin there. Chase has got some muscle he, on him. He can score. Oh, yeah, can, he's, 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 definitely, I, he's, got, I, he's definitely got the body. 
Marquette up 8, 42, 34, 153 left first half. Colorado will inbound along the baseline into Hadley. Now Lampkin at the free throw line, holding. And then one dribble. Needs help. <laughs> Still needs help. He's had the ball for a week. Back door to the seventh. Stolen by Marquette. Yeah, we saw that one coming all day. Chase Ross in from the right. Back to Joplin. I don't think it was ready for the pass. Joplin gives inside Mitchell. His pass stolen away. He was going to get it to Oso, but right there was the Silva with the pick it off. Marquette up eight. Colorado with it. 128. That's a big stop pass. from Colorado. Yeah. Hadley, 25 feet away left side. Hadley, a couple of dribbles to the free throw line. Can't the go back. Three open again. again. Gets it to Lampton. Ball knocked away. Stolen by Marquette. Knocked away by Kolick. Marquette has it on the turnover. There's no numbers here. Colorado's Kolick. back. Yep, Kolick the trailer. Kolick going to the basket. Double teamed in the corner to Mitchell. Mitchell then back to Kolick. Colorado recovering. Chase Ross fakes the three. Chase Ross to the basket. Layup no good. Rebound knocked around. Out of bounds. And... I think that was a heat check attack it was by, off of Oso. by Chase Ross. It oh, no. No, off of uh, Colorado. I think it's Marquette Ball. Nice. Oh. 12 on the shot clock. Under a minute left first half. Nice whistle. Chase Ross was too far away to bring the hammer again. Yeah, it was too far away. He had a bad angle getting to the rim, but yep. uh, you're absolutely right. He could have put some air into that layup there. Yep. Cam Jones inbounds back to Kolick, 30 feet away. Right back to Cam Jones. Good three. Good. Let me just walk right in. That means you're hot. You just got off the bench. I'm hot right now. A good three. What I meant was open either way. Cam Jones with 16 and Marquette up 11. We got under a minute left first half, 45 seconds. No three, please. Hadley outside the arc, 40 feet away. Simpson has it. They got 14 to shoot. Final minute of the first half. Ball knocked away. Simpson gets it back. Still double teamed. Simpson still dribbling. He's 12 feet away. Out to the Silva. The three. No good. Boing rebound to Marquette. That time. Got they time got, to slow yeah, down. Yeah, slow they get down. Those final shot. Shot yep. back off. 23 seconds left. The Marquette fans are standing. Marquette will have a double digit first half lead. I'm assuming 14 seconds yeah. left, totally 40 feet away. And 13 or 14 here. All right, we're down to 10 seconds. The Cam Jones. Cam Jones. Hot. He's looking against Hadley. Four seconds left. Step back three. Oh, that's what? Wide left. Doesn't matter. Colorado, I mean, it matters. He wanted Colorado. the three bad. Yes, he did. He could have he gotten to the rim. They were playing him for the three there. He yes. could have gotten to the rim. You're right. He could have attacked and step yeah. back. But Colorado got no shot with one second left at half. Looking good. Sweet 16 on the line. Marquette up 11. 45-34 over Colorado. Game Knights will take over Marquette basketball from Learfield. You know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey, CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance. We are Marquette Sports Properties at the game. Tries a three, it's good, he hit it! Oh, baby, what a wow. shot! On your TV. Welcome to Inside Marquette Basketball. I'm Sophia Minner, joined by Marquette head coach Shaka Smart. And in your community. There is a lot of excitement nationwide about what this squad is doing and what they can do. Get your brand in on the action. Visit Learfield.com slash partners and click Marquette. Marquette Sports Properties, powered by Learfield. Hey Marquette fans, we know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it too here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with TechSpend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Marquette fans, set your DVRs for new episodes of the MarquetteHoops.com basketball show, 9 a.m. Saturdays on Channel 24. Join me, Tom Pippins, and historian John Dodds as we follow Shaka Smart's top-ranked team and his recruiting. We will relive great seasons and games with former players, coaches, and media. All shows are archived at our MarquetteHoops.com site. That's Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Channel 24. Marquette University.
University Golden Eagles Sports Network. From Learfield, this is Trust coverage of Marquette Basketball. Trust, Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette. Welcome to the Marquette Halftime Show, brought to you by Software One, official digital cloud and software partner of Marquette Athletics. CentOS, ready for the workday. Buffalo Wild Wings, let's go sports bar. Right height, where we're always looking ahead. Sitgo, with Sitgo, you're good to go. Qdoba, making the world a more flavorful place. Hush Blackwell, a different kind of law firm built on the culture of selfless service. Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative, putting members first, pursuing better healthcare. And by Potawatomi Casino Hotel, all in to win. Now, the Marquette Halftime Show. What an offensive first half for Marquette. 45-34, they lead at the break. Everybody's having a good time at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oak Creek is the site of today's watch party as Marquette shot 67.9% as a team from the field. They were 13 of 15 inside the arc, 6 of 13 from downtown, opening up an 11-point halftime lead. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. This is Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Marquette, some uh, numbers when leading at the half. 20-1 when leading at the half this year. That only loss uh, came back on January 10th against Butler at Pfizer Forum. When scoring 70 points or more, well on their way with 45 first-half points. Marquette 25-3, so some good trends pointing in Marquette's direction. It was an offensive first half. Colorado, uh, they shot 46.7% as a team from the field. But where they struggled and one of the places where they really succeed as a team downtown. That's something that they had been so good at as a team. Almost 40% as a squad from distance this year. Just 3 of 13 in that first half as Marquette opens up this 11-point halftime lead. But only one struggle for the Golden Eagles in that first half. Free throws. 1 of 4 from the charity stripe in the first half. Colorado 3 for 3. But again, keeping the Buffaloes off the free throw line something key. They shot 33 free throws in their uh, in their opening round victory over the University of Florida when they scored a 102 points. Marquette, uh, 26 points in the paint. They're able to create seven turnovers, scoring nine points off of those turnovers as well. And 12 points, their largest lead of the first half. Right now, they lead by 11, 45 34. Meet the all new Potawatomi Casino Hotel, Milwaukee. 12 bars and restaurants, 3,000 slot machines, table games, and more. Light up your senses at Potawatomi. Explore more at PaysBig.com. Marquette leads by 11 at the break, 45 34. We'll go over some individual statistics coming up next. This is Winter. Trust, Wisconsin's bank coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Every Qdoba catering order is a fresh-made Mexican feast of hand-smashed, flame-grilled, sliced, diced, and sautéed flavors perfect for any occasion. Whether you're planning your office's tortilla Tuesday, hosting a post-game party for your intramural dodgeball team, or trying to bring in a dinner for your PTA meeting that's so good, it'll bump your kid up to an A- in Spanish class. Qdoba Catering. Fresh, hot, easy, delicious. Order today. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Four Banks. Member FDIC. March Madness at Buffalo Wild Wings. Beer, wings, basketball everywhere. This really is my happy place. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, you just feel the good vibes. That's it. I'm done. I will never watch another game. I'm just going to find a patch of grass and lay there forever. Oh, it went in. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, happy place. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness. Let's go sports bar. Drink responsibly. NCAA March Madness are trademarks of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. 
make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Marquette University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial right now. SXM.us backslash College Sports Radio 2023. Marquette up by 11 at the half. 45-34 over Colorado. Again, has a team just under 70% as a team. 19 made field goals with 10 assists along with that. Six of those assists belong to Tyler Kolek, who had a tremendous first half. Eight points, six assists. He was 4 of 4 from the field. But it was a big half for Cam Jones. Missed the step back three at the horn, but still went 4 of 7 from three in that first half. 6 of 9 from the field, 16 points. Three rebounds also with that assist. Has to be careful, though, in the second half. He does have two personal fouls. Rounding out the scoring for Marquette, David Joplin. Always good to see him getting involved, and he's done a little bit of everything in that first half. But he has eight points, two of five from distance, three of seven from the field. Eight points, as I mentioned, for Tyler Kolek. Four for Oso Igodaro, and three for Stevie Mitchell. And Marquette has shortened the bench for today's game. We've seen throughout the course of the year, Train Norman, um, get some run, and, and not the case today. The freshman staying on the bench in that first half. Ben Gold, no points in that first half. Did have a key assist, but he was 0 2 from the free throw line. But Chase Ross, good first half for him. Six points on three of four shooting as Marquette doing a great job defensively, limiting Colorado and their looks from downtown as they're just three of 13 as a team from distance. Now, inside the arc, much like Marquette, having a lot more success, although Mar Marquette is 6 of 13 from distance in that first half. So Colorado having some more success getting the ball to the rim as uh, Eddie Lampkin Jr. is 4 of 4 from the field in the first half. He has 9 points to pace the way. But K.J. Simpson scored 23 points in the opener against Florida in the opening round, I should say, against Florida for Colorado. Just 3 of 8, 1 of 5 from downtown. 7 points for him in the first half. Worth mentioning as well with Lampkin, even though he had that great first half, nine points, 404 from the field, hit his lone free throw, he's got some rebounds. Marquette forced him into four of the seven turnovers for Colorado. Now Marquette turned it over seven times themselves, a little high for the Golden Eagles, so that is certainly something that they want to clean up in that first half. Uh, Marquette also giving up four offensive rebounds to Colorado while only grabbing two themselves. So still a couple of things I'm sure Shaka Smart is going to be harping on in the locker room as Marquette leads at the break 45-34. Marquette fans, Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness and the official viewing party location for the Marquette tournament games this postseason. Check out the Golden Eagles watch party schedule at gomarquette.com slash bww. Our next watch party schedule for the West Dallas Buffalo Wild Wild Wings for the Sweet 16 round of the NCAA Tournament. Depending upon the outcome of this game, Marquette would play on Friday, March 29th. Let's go Sports Bar. Marquette by 11 at the break over Colorado. We see what else is happening in the NCAA Tournament today. Coming up next, this is Wintrust, Wisconsin's main coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey Marquette fans, we know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it too here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. When your people are ready, your business is ready. 
Sintas makes sure they have what they need to perform their best. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, fire protection systems that are tested and inspected, first aid and safety supplies, floor mats, or cleaning tools and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together, so visit Sintas.com and get ready for the work day. I'm Sawyer and I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Wisconsin On Demand is the home for all things Marquette Hoops. Stay up to date on the latest Golden Eagles conversations, interviews. I believe that we can play with anyone, but it's one thing to believe you can play with anyone. It's another thing to, to go out and do it. And game highlights. It's a flashing into oh, He's wow. a 30-footer. Good! That's his range. Oh, He's got an open three. It's perfect. Find Championship Blue on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. From the home of Marquette Basketball, 94.5 ESPN. Marquette by 11, 45-34 over Colorado. Cam Jones, 16 points in that first half. It's the only game going on right now in the NCAA tournament, although plenty of games still to come. And you can listen to coverage of the NCAA championships on the Varsity Network app. It's powered by Learfield. Fans can hear Westwood One's exclusive national coverage along with most school broadcasts through a multicast option. That's only on the Varsity Network app, available for free in your app store. Still to happen later today, uh, tipping off at 140 is going to be the eighth seeded Utah, Utah State Aggies taking on one of the top seeds in Purdue. James Madison got the upset, so they get no, the fourth seeded Duke Blue Devils in the South Region at 415 today. And then we start to get the overlap as we hit tonight. Third seeded Baylor taking on six seeded Clemson at 640, 610, to, excuse me, at 510, at 610 tonight, Grand Canyon. Getting an upset win. They take on fourth-seeded Alabama, uh, 645 tonight. Number one overall seed, UConn, taking on Northwestern. Number one seed, Houston, taking on Texas A&M tonight at 740. And then the last game of the opening weekend of the NCAA tournament will be fifth-seeded fifth San Diego State, taking on the 13 seed in Yale. Make sure to download the Marquette Game Day app where special offers are available to Marquette season ticket holders all season long. Today's highlighted offer is from Jersey Mike's where Marquette season ticket holders are receiving 15% off their orders all season long. Jersey Mike's, we are Marquette. Marquette 45-34 with the lead over Colorado. Saw so everybody really have a bit of playmaking ability in that first half with, again, Kolick led the way with six assists, but also had one. Jop had one. Uh, Cam Jones with an assist. And Ben Gold finding David Joplin. There were a couple of times where Ben Gold, with his dribbling, where he was able to get into the paint and make good things happen, had the assist to Joplin. Gold was fouled on the next possession after that, went 0 for 2 from the free throw line. But still... That's what's going to be required for Marquette. Everybody chipping in, and it's not like they were over -reli overly reliant on Kolek and Jones, although they did end up with uh, 24 of the team's 45 points in that first half. But like I said, everybody contributing Everybody crashing the boards, grabbing rebounds. Chop had a block shot in that first half, as did Chase Ross. And the playmaking has been mainly Kolek, but everybody else putting it on the deck, making things happen for Marquette. A big reason why they were able to shoot just under 68% as a team in that first half. Marquette leads 45-34. We're going to send you back to Indianapolis for the start of the second half coming up next. This is Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Every time you swipe your Golden Eagles debit card with Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank, order online, pay at the register, or at self-checkout, pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Corp. Member FDIC. Make 
it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit PaysBig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, ow, ah, I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. Experience stands out at Color Inc. That's true for the experiences we create for your customers and the ones we create for you. Our entire crew is unlocking creativity to help you accomplish your goals. Color Inc. is an experiential communications company. We help you capture attention and inspire action with packaging, visual displays, retail signage, influencer kits, and pretty much anything else you can dream up. Visit www.colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Marquette by 11 in the first half, 45-34 over Colorado. It's been 11 years since Marquette has made it to the Sweet 16 back in 2013, the last time that they made it. So trying to do something that they haven't done in 11 years. But they have been tremendous this year when leading at the half, 20-1 and one when leading at the break as they do right now, 45-34 after shooting 19 of 28 as a team in that first half. Second half just about ready to start, so let's go ahead and send you back to Indianapolis for the start of half number two alongside the Hall of Famer, Tony Smith. Here's Homer. Thanks, Gabe. Cam Jones, 16 points, 6 of 9 shooting, 4 of 7, 3-point shooting, 3 rebounds and assists. Hey. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear anything about any stats. I don't want to hear anything about the first half. It is over. We got 20 minutes to play here, and okay. it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, we don't, we don't have any. Thanks, uh, we don't have any advantage right now. Let's go the, play. We're not in the locker room. I don't, I'm in the locker room right uh, now. Okay. Get, get your head right. Everybody's got to get their head right right now. Okay. Let's go. We got, okay, huh? what do I to have my head zero, right? It's 0-0. Zero. We got to play, again, same situation as when we started the ball game. We're playing for a trip to Dallas, to the Sweet okay. 16. But and we don't want we, it. Don't we know that if we do things well, that we can score on this well, team? Well, you knew that to start the game. But they different. gave up a hundred. They gave up a hundred right, points uh, to a Florida team who's missing one of their better players. We know that we can score. We know right. that we can get shots. But we know if we just have you to execute what I think with the intensity. Key of the first half was. What's I that? thought Marquette did a great job creating deflections and double teaming almost every situation, yeah. letting them try to throw it across. And I, I mean, they only they created seven turnovers and Marquette had seven. But I feel like there were way more plays that Marquette's defense created by knocking the ball. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think that's anything. I don't know what the deflection count is. I'd be curious to what it is because they had a ton of them. But uh, that's normal Marquette basketball, right? We've been seeing them all year. That's what they do. They get hands on balls, uh, and, and they get a lot of deflections out there. They're very disruptive uh, defensively. So they got to continue to to do that. I mean, it's. This half is not going to be as easy as the first half was because of the desperation that Colorado suddenly has to feel. They had 40 minutes of game time to, to try to get a win. Now they only have 20 minutes of game time, and they're down 11 points. So yeah. they're feeling a lot of pressure. They're going to come out with intensity. Everybody in here knows. I'm, I'm going past the CBS crew. Uh, Kevin Harden is like, hey, we know they're going to make a run. I go, yes, we do. Well, they're going the, to make a run. They got the shooters. The Silva average is 16. He had two on one of right, five. Yeah. Again, uh, I said the same thing uh, the other night, uh, Western Kentucky. You know, your, your top players, they're going to feel some type of way about being down. They're going to come out and they're going to probably play a little bit more aggressively than they played in the first half because they feel they have to. Uh, and you're going to see how Marquette responds to it. Uh, I mean, the, the freshman was able to come in and, and get off and, and get yeah. something going. So they're going to look at that and say, okay, we can, we can attack these guys. So Marquette's got to come out and say, no, you can't. All right. Colorado starts with the basketball here, and they'll inbound at midcourt. Marquette challenged the inbound, and De Silva has to help out. 45 feet away, hands back to Simpson. KJ Simpson hit the game-winning shot against Florida. He's had seven points, three of eight, one of five three-point shooting. 
He holds the ball 30 feet away. Drives and floats inside. Lampkin is open. He missed the no good defense footer, by Steve But Mitchell. they get the rebound. Hadley inside. That has it knocked away. And they somehow get a layup as Lampkin picked up the loop. I thought Lampkin knocked it away from his own man. <laughs> he didn't care. Hey, I'm getting that ball, he said. Marquette's lead at 9. 19-28 for the game. Kolick, and they call a bump foul on Simpson. And... That's a tight. That's a tight whistle there. There and and the whistle was not tight in the first half. Uh, but rule I like one, it. I like the tight whistle. All right, uh, rule one, the officiating is consistently inconsistent, Correct. so I'm not bothered nor surprised. Oso has the top of the circle, further out to Kolick. Kolick fans left, tips across the corner. Cam Jones faked the three, now shoots the three, rims out, rebound. They push Mitchell out of the way. And now they're going to call a foul on Marquette, either Cam Jones or yeah, if it's Cam, it's Cam Jones. Jones. Just... Yeah, that hurts. That's his third. They okay. just pushed Mitchell out of the way as he was trying to get the offensive rebound. But that was not a tight whistle. That's uh, that hurts because Cam Jones has to come out. Marquette leading by nine, 19-13 for the game. I think that Shock is probably saying you can't do that with two fouls, right? Yeah, it was just, I mean, it, it was again, weird. It's just incidental. Yeah, he was just going for a loose ball and he got beat to the ball. Simpson double teamed into Silva, now into Lampkin, low post. And he's triple teamed back out to Silva, now off to Simpson, now short corner to O'Brien. To a flashing to Silva, he lays it up and in. Easy. Marquette's lead down to seven. Four straight to open the second half by Colorado. Kolick dribbles into the right corner, right in front of us against O'Brien. Now has it outside the arc, still dribbling. Now baseline, now into the basket. Reverse layup is around and in. That rim has been nice. Every time it's tapped, it's fall, falling through Marquette up high. Yeah, throw the first off. That's, that's what you need. You can't let Colorado get any kind of runs in. Yep. Simpson around a double screen outside the arc. De Silva, quick three. Good. Yep, a good look. Again, got to stop giving up good looks. Marquette's lead down to six. Told you he was going to get hot. He's up to seven. He averages 16. Into Oso. He looked like foul. He missed the dunk. And they come the other way with Hadley. Into the corner. Simpson, he'll try a three. Good. Timeout. I can see that coming. Marquette, the lead is all but gone. Timeout in the first two minutes of the second half. We thought Oso had a dunk. They must have knocked the ball from behind. Marquette up 47-44. The lead 11 at half. And Colorado has put up 10 in less than two minutes. They're making threes. Timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Whether it's live or in podcast form, you've heard us on air with all of our shenanigans. Gabe, I'm throwing some. <laughs> Why are you throwing? I, I don't want. Now see your favorite 94.5 ESPN show streaming on video. Hey, by, me, by the way, I hit that microphone like four out of six times. On that. Subscribe to ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube and get notified when we hit the air live. Plus, you can watch back any second that you miss and see original digital content too. Watch, listen, interact. ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube. Marquette fans, set your DVRs for new episodes of the MarquetteHoops.com basketball show, 9 a.m. Saturdays on Channel 24. Join me, Tom Pippins, and historian John Dodds as we follow Shaka Smart's top-ranked team and his recruiting. We will relive great seasons and games with former players, coaches, and media. All shows are archived at our MarquetteHoops.com site. That's Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Channel 24. You know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey, CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance. Famer Tony Smith, Marquette looking for the sweet 16. The lead was 11 and a half. It is now down to three. For Colorado, a 10-2 run in less than two minutes. They pulled a Marquette on Marquette. This is what Marquette has done to teams all year. Yeah, and this is why I say you got to come out and defend. You know you're not going to shoot 68% again. You know that in Colorado, you know, it's got a bunch of good shooters. Uh, they're going to make a run. I mean, that's it's, it's, it's basketball. You've been in it long enough. You know how the game goes. Uh, you got you to gotta step in and, and disrupt 
what normally happens, and that's 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 why I said it was. It's all about defense right now. You have a cushion, but you got to defend that cushion on the defensive end. Don't worry about the offense. If the offense is going to be what it's going to be. Don't rely on jump shots. Don't turn it over, uh, and just get what you got. They got lucky that also just happened that they got a piece of that ball from, from behind. behind. Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, he didn't know anybody was there. Also, he probably would have did a different dunk, or he'd probably just kind of dunked it in. But. Uh, you know, it's, it's game on again, as we knew it was. I, I never was in doubt about that. I knew it was going to be game on. Colorado had to feel good about only being down 11. They didn't play a great half. Like to say hello to Marquette fans tuning into today's game on the Marquette Radio Network. We're in Oshkosh, 99-1 WSCO. We are Marquette. And Chase Ross in the ball game now. He'll bring it up. He'll come down with it in the left corner. Oso helps out. Back to Kolick. They set up the play. Kolick in the corner dribbling. Kolick now gives to Oso. Ten feet away, short corner. He's double triple team to cross out Chase Ross. Open three is good. Great luck. Oh, sweet. Little rainbow for us, Chase Ross. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're going to double Oso like that. He's such a great passer. And he's got a small guy on him. He can turn and find very easily. Remember that one because the lead is back up yeah, to six. Got to remember this one. They got to defend here. All right. The Silva, 30 feet away. He's further gonna, out. The score stopped, and now he's stopping another score. All right. Hadley dribbling. Hadley backing in on Mitchell. Hadley throws back out to the Silva. He'll penetrate. Right, wide he goes to basket. Wide open and dumps it. Got three behind Oso. Marquette's lead is four. 50 to 46, Kolick outside right, Kolick in the right corner, quarter, Kolick under the basket, needs help, gets it to Oso, the push, he banked it in, he showed us the bank from the right yeah, of the lane about eight feet the right away. Angle, but they, got it, they haven't gotten the stop in how many trips? That's right, you're right, Marquette's lead is six on the hoop, 17 minutes for the game. Simpson gives out to Hadley, outside the three-point line to Silva, into Lampkin, bad pass! Stolen away by Marquette. Right to Chase Ross. Play. That Chase almost Ross, missed it. He's jumped over the press. He's going to try to get Joplin here. Joplin open three. Oh, missed it. Cleared by Colorado. Marquette had to shoot quickly four on five. O'Brien has it outside the arc right side. Marquette's lead is six. 16-33 for the game. Colorado with it. On the perimeter left side. Now Lampkin 12 feet away. Left oh, to right. Hand. Also knocked it away. And then diving for it is Mitchell. And he knocks the ball out of bounds. Stevie Mitchell gets a deflection. And Marquette will defend with 14 on the shot clock. Colorado still with it. 16-23 left. Marquette's lead is six. And that's the defense they got to play with. I felt like they lost a little urgency with that lead. Yep. Uh, they got to get it back. Simpson working oh, on travel. Mitchell. He traveled. Great defense by Stevie Mitchell. Yeah, it's just a mistake. A lot of I don't understand guys making. You don't want to challenge Stevie Mitchell, off, especially off the dribble in the, in the open floor. He's, he's too good. Uh, you got to get a pick and roll. You got to do something to, to get him off of you. Marquette up six, 52 46 over Colorado for the Sweet 16. 16 13 for the game. Kolick left of the lane to Oso. Oh, he lost, lost the ball. The ball. Stolen away or given away. De Silva will come all the way at the end of the uh, basket and floater is no good. Rebound inside to Hadley. Back out Simpson. Three is good on that hurt. They gave him three after the missed shot. Yeah. Marquette's lead deck back down to three. On a drive, Kolick in the it's lane, and gets into the basket. He missed the layup. It came up a little short. He wanted a foul. Coming up with Colorado, the Silva, the trailer. Marquette has never trailed in. Galampkin, the ball knocked away nicely by Oso, or it would have been a layup. And we're going to get a timeout. Game on. We still got 15-41 left. The 11-point lead for Marquette down to three. 52-49 Marquette over Colorado. Colorado will inbound when play resumes. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Madness at Buffalo Wild Wings. Beer, wings, basketball everywhere. This really is my happy place. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, you just feel the good vibes. That's it. I'm done. I will never watch another game. I'm just going to find a patch of grass and lay there forever. Oh, it went in. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, happy place. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness. Let's go, sports bar. Drink responsibly. NCAA March Madness are trademarks of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Wisconsin On Demand is the home for all things Marquette Hoops. Stay up to date on the latest Golden Eagles conversations, interviews. Believe that we can play with anyone, but it's one thing to believe you can play with anyone. It's another thing to, to go out and do it. And game highlights. Get to a flash and get to down. Oh, he's wow. the 30 footer. Good. That's his range. Oh, thank you. He's got an open three. It's perfect. Find Championship Blue on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. From the home of Marquette Basketball, 94.5 ESPN. 
Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's bank, proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Core Banks. Member FDIC. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith. Marquette's lead was 11 and a half. All but gone. Down to three. 15.41 left for the game. It was already down to three with 18.06 left. So it's been even the last couple minutes. Yeah, they're down 15 to seven right now. So, you know, down eight in this 67 half. 67 percent shooting by Colorado and their three for three three point shooting. We said that would happen. Don't wreck a great time in the game. Our kid reminds you drive sober or get pulled over. Visit zeroinwisconsin.gov to learn more. Zero in Wisconsin. Together we can save lives. Wisconsin DOT. Meet the all new Potawatomi Casino Hotel, Milwaukee. 12 bars and restaurants, 3,000 slot machines, table games, and more. Light up your sentence at Potawatomi. Explore more at Page Big. And Color Inc. is an experimental communications company that creates packaging, visual displays, retail signage that inspires action. Visit colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Well, I was hoping it might be easy with the impressive first half and an 11-point lead, but I knew better. Yeah, you did. And I told you. I told you better. Yes. You had to come out with urgency and desperation again for 20 minutes. Because yep. all of a sudden now, Lampkin's up to 11. Their leading scorer, K.J. Simpson, I mentioned that 20 a game. He's already up to 13. And okay, there's a lot of game still left. is at 9. So their leading scorers are starting to score, and now Simpson will inbound. They got 21 to shoot. 15-41 for the game and a spot in the Sweet 16. Yeah, we almost got half the points already yeah. they had in the first half. Right, in four minutes plus. Four minutes. Simpson 40 feet away against Stevie Mitchell. And now here's the steal by Chase Ross, but his deflection goes out of bounds. Ooh, we looked at all day. We just, I was getting the hammer a, ready. I was that's getting just a the bad power pass yes. by Simpson. But Williams, as you said, didn't really come out after it. No, it wasn't Williams' fault. Oh, okay. Simpson's got to see the defense. He's got to see Chase Ross etching up there. Trying to get that steal. Well, deflection, no steal. They have eight to shoot, 45 feet away at Simpson. Seven to shoot. Simpson still dribbling. Simpson still has it across to the Silva. Tough three. Terrible shot. Oh, my God. Fading left. He nailed it. They're hitting them all in the game's tie. Yeah, well, you knew they were going to hit some shots. We said that. Great defense, but he hit it game even. Marquette has never trailed. Cola gives inside to Oso, six feet away. Can't finish, now works on Lampkin. Floater in the lane is good. Oh, baby, that's big. Yeah, Lampkin can't guard him. Oso pulls him out. You see him back dribble him out. Uh, that is, that's because he knows he can't stay with him. Oh, so big. Now, De Silva probably looking to shoot against Joplin Marquette up two. Oh, he's holding his De arm. De Silva in the lane. De Silva no look to Lampkin. Lost it out of bounds. Who's got it? I think maybe last touch by Marquette. They're all down there like it's going to be Colorado ball. Yep. Tristan De Silva from Munich. Right now is kind of taking over. Marquette up two. 14-47 for the game on the oh-so-good by Oso. They get to Lampkin. Free throw line. Back out to De Silva. They're getting it to him. They got 10 to shoot. Simpson. He'll try a three. Good. They're making everything. Marquette down the point. They knew they were going to make shots. And, and they have no fear. They got five nothing, of, no pressure on them. Five of five, three-point shooting. Cam Jones has to throw back to Oso. Excuse me, to Kolek. Marquette, first time behind in the game. Cam Jones attacks in the lane to the basket. Hands to Oso back to Kolek. Wide open three. Rims no good. Rebound to Colorado and Simpson. Marquette down a point. Colorado with it. Trailer is Hadley. They've hit all five of their three-point shots. Hadley stops at the foul line. Further out to Simpson. Simpson, 25 feet away. They got 16 to shoot. Marquette down a point. Colorado with it. 14 minutes to play. Simpson still dribbling. 10 to shoot. Logo three. Missed it. Rebound Marquette. Comes to Camp Jones. Thank you. Now Oso brings it up. Oso against Williams in the right corner. Still dribbling. Backing in. Double team. Back out to Camp Jones. Back to Oso. He'll drive. Oh, He's bumped by one. Gives to Kulik in the lane. Floater is good. Oso got to got Kulik him. like Kulik gets to Oso. I'm surprised they let him get that bump there. Williams bumped uh, Oso Big pretty time. good there. 
Officials right there. Marquette up a point. 13-28 left. Simpson dribbling back and forth. He's 30 feet away. Marquette up by one. Williams has it. Top of the circle. Ball knocked oh, away. Foul. Marquette has it. Williams again. Yep. Marquette has it with Kolick on the turnover. Kolick. Trailer is Cam Jones. Open three in. Three left. Nope. No good. Up. Long rebound. Joplin taps it out. Chase Ross won't shoot the three. Marquette will reload. Well, that's Colorado's had their huge run. Now it's time for a Marquette run. All right. You got to figure that's about to happen right now. Oh, so at the free throw line, back to Kolek. Kolek to the basket. Layup is good. He got over to Silva. Marquette up three. Four in a row by Marquette. Well, it's time for a big run. They got to get stopped. They got to pile on stops. Like yeah. I said, it's all about defense. We're going to get some scores on Colorado. Simpson goes all the way to the it's basket. Offense. Pull up six footer. He missed it. Missed the easy shot. Rebound. We're going to get a kick on. That's on Simpson. No. No, they called on Marquette, I think. Maybe Joplin. Dove for the ball. Maybe call a, a, a Kolick on the kick. All right. It's going to be Colorado ball. Tough whistle. 12-39 for the game. Marquette after trailing. The only time, 55-54. They put up four in a row. Marquette up three. 12-39 left. The Hall of Famer has said time for a Marquette run. We'll see. Okay, we got to get a lot of stops here. In the corner to O'Brien. First time he's touched the ball. He's eight feet away. Back outside to Hadley. Now off to Williams. Williams spinning. Cam Jones with three fouls. Good defense. They got 10 to shoot. They're 30 feet away. Inside to Hadley against Kolick. Those folks got to watch Low out. Post. Baseline shot is good. Nice little six-foot hook. Marquette up a point. 12-18 left. Nobody on Joplin. Fake the three against O'Brien. Spins to the basket. Oh, Joplin, what a move there. Like you taught him. Marquette up three. Did you teach him that? I did not. All right. 12.06 for the game. Marquette up 60 to 57. The Marquette fans looking for that Tony Smith run. Simpson 40 feet away. Simpson still with the dribbling into the corner to Hadley. They got 12 to shoot. Hadley, top of the circle on the dribble in the corner. Oh, can't leave him. Can't He'll leave try him. a three. He missed it. Rebound Joplin over the top of there Lampkin. Was. Oh, man. Lampkin's not getting up. He's only on ninth floor. He got up on the roof. Joplin to the basket. Oh, wow. He it. Hammer time. Can we get a timeout? Colorado Marquette's nope. lead back to five. But you got a lot of energy right now. After the Joplin dunk, we'll see if we can translate that to defense. Williams going to the basket. Floater from six. He missed it. Rebound tapped down. Marquette it. has it. Chase Ross already across the strike. Marquette up five. Chase Ross is bumped, and they're going to call. The okay. ball went out of bounds. Hadley yeah, was Ross there. Chase Ross got caught looking up. He was looking back. They're not calling anything, though. Well, I mean, it no. wasn't a foul. He just got it? caught sleeping a little bit. All right. We got a timeout. Marquette ahead 11. Then down one. Now Marquette up five. Colorado will inbound when play resumes. 11-17 for the game and the Sweet 16 timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Experience stands out at Color Inc. That's true for the experiences we create for your customers and the ones we create for you. Our entire crew is unlocking creativity to help you accomplish your goals. Color Inc. is an experiential communications company. We help you capture attention and inspire action with packaging, visual displays, retail signage, influencer kits, and pretty much anything else you can dream up. Visit www.colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Pottawatomie. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Pottawatomie, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Every Qdoba catering order is a fresh-made Mexican feast of hand-smashed, flame-grilled, sliced, diced, and sautéed flavors perfect for any occasion. Whether you're planning your office's Tortilla Tuesday, hosting a post-game party for your intramural dodgeball team, or trying to bring in a dinner for your PTA meeting that's so good, it'll bump your kid up to an A- in Spanish class. Qdoba Catering. Fresh, hot, easy, delicious. Order today. Famer Tony Smith, Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin Bank. Tony Smith said, time for a Marquette run. It is an 8-2 run 
after trailing for the first time in the game at 55-54. Marquette up 62-57. Color Inc. is an experimental communications company that creates packaging, visual displays, and retail signage that inspires action. Visit ColorInc.com to book a conversation today and meet the all-new Potawatomi Casino Hotel in Milwaukee. 12 bars and restaurants, 3,000 slot machines, table games, and more. Light up your senses at Potawatomi. Explore more at PaysBig.com. Our post-game interview all season long with Shock to Sparta has been brought to you by Potawatomi Casino Hotel. If Marquette wins, we will have a player, not a coach, because they have certain ways they do it in the NCAA tournament, and we're not at the top of the food chain. No, and this is the half so far. One foul on each team. Yes. So not a lot of fouling going on. They've called nothing, right? No, you got to be strong. Yeah, yes. Refs, listen, this is one thing that players got to understand. The refs don't really want to get in the way. You really have to force them to make a call. If you're getting fouled offensively or whatever, I mean, they just they just they don't want to make calls. All right. Chase Ross, by the way, now at nine points, four of five shooting. He's got three rebounds. He is not in the game right now. Marquette starting five in, and De Silva will inbound in the backcourt. 11-17 left. Marquette up five. Colorado with Williams, their outstanding freshman, guarded by Cam Jones, who still has three fouls. O'Brien, 45 feet away to Hadley, still outside the three-point line right side. Hadley, the handoff, give to Simpson. Marquette covers him, no open three. Off to De Silva. They up inside to Hadley. He's double-teamed, back out. De Silva, open three. In and out, oh yes. But Hadley gets the rebound. His layup is good. Yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta do everything. He's not good yeah. enough to defend. You gotta rebound. Marquette's lead at three. Cam Jones, wide right. Cam Jones, still with it. Now, wide left. Cam Jones continues to dribble against De Silva. Now goes to the basket. Layup is good! And De Silva acted like something. They got hit in the mouth or touched in the mouth. And they check him out. The Cam Jones scoop. Classic. And I want to mention how many layups have been on that rim and every one or all but one has fallen in. Marquette up by five. 10.30 left. And Oso gets a little breather, a breather, and Ben Gold comes in and got to box out though. You yeah. can't give second looks when you get them to miss. You got to defensively. Colorado's ball. playing small without Lampkin and even without the other big guy they had. Yeah, they, 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 oh, they're checking to see what happened. I think maybe as to why De Silva. I think Cam Jones off arm, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna watch it. Will they show it to us up above? I'm not sure. We're getting a play under review. That's what it has to be because. De Silva just went to his mouth, not like he'd been hit. And that like would be he had a little four blood. on Cam. Yes, that would be. They call a foul. Don't need a tough whistle right now. 10:31 left. Marquette leading Colorado, 64-59 for a spot in the Sweet Sweet 16. It's as simple as that. Marquette 26 and nine. Colorado 26 and 10. Marquette led by 11, but. Colorado with the kind of run Western Kentucky put on Marquette all of a sudden had the lead at 55-54 but Marquette has responded as desired by Hall of Famer Tony Smith yeah they're going to call something they're bringing the official the, the coaches together Shaka Smart is there and and uh, also hearing from Tad Boyle oh, they call nothing oh that's good. That's a nice yeah. whistle. <laughs> Saw Shaka walk out of there happy. You know that nothing was called. <laughs> yes. Stevie Mitchell, Ben Gold, Cam Jones with three fouls, Joplin, and Kolick, the five in right now. Yeah, they, re they really got to turn up the screws. Yep. You, you got to be really desperate stop. on these few possessions here. Williams, 40 feet away on the dribble, still way outside the arc to Silva. Now to Simpson, took an extra step to get to the ball. Simpson now dribbling, Cam Jones on him. Simpson 40 feet away. O'Brien still way outside the arc, wing left to Williams. They got 10 to shoot. Williams against Kolick. Williams on a drive, kicks in the corner to O'Brien, then back to Williams. He'll try a three, good, nicely done. It's just driving kick offense, basic, very basic. Yep. Marquette up two. Kolick, 25 feet away left side. Kolick back out to Stevie Mitchell beyond the three-point line. He'll drive on Williams. He'll go to the basket. Williams blocked the shot. 
Yeah, Lee Williams, Block. Williams is long. Yes, he is. I mean, he's absolutely long. Marquette up oh, two. Oh, he's almost traveled. And he did. O'Brien has the top of the circle. Marquette up two. De Silva in the lane to the basket with the left hand. Lays it up and in. Game tied. Colorado puts up five quickly. It is 64 all with 9.33 left. Yeah, they're giving up. Marquette's giving up 30 points already yep. in this half. It's right. still nine minutes left. Yeah. On a drive, Kolick throws in the corner. Mitchell, bad pass, and he stepped out of bounds. It'll be Colorado basketball on the Marquette turnover. Yeah. They're on pace for close to 60. 30 points in 10 minutes and 30 yeah, seconds. That's exactly why I said it half. It's, it's all about defense, it's half. You cannot yeah. give up one of those. And Stevie Mitchell. One of those halves. Seems hurt no, he's a fine. little bit. He fell down trying to save that bad pass. Joplin comes out. Marquette goes big with Ben Gold and Oso. And Lampkin has not played. Colorado has gone little. All right. Yeah, they're able to drive and kick. Yep. Simpson gives to O'Brien. 30 feet away left side. Game is tied. 9-14 left. And these run, they're, just, they're literally running the flex offense. All right. Simpson. Top of the circle. Off to De Silva against Oso. Step back three. No good. Rebound Marquette. Polick got it. Now in the front court, left side, Cam Jones. Cam Jones outside the arc. Beyond the three-point line to Ben Gold. Won't take the three in the corner. Shaky pass. Oh, to the bad Kolek. gamble there. Kola gives to Gold. Open three in the corner. Is bad good. gamble. Bigger than pay. Gold. Oh, baby. Yeah, you got to make him pay for that gamble. They stole three because they dearly lost that pass. Marquette up three. Yeah, you gotta, Eight. Again, you're going to get good looks on these guys. They give up a lot of points. you got to get some stops. Yeah. They pass into the corner to Hadley. Back outside Williams. Williams to the free throw line. Pull up 15-footer. No good. He missed another one. Rebound tapped and Marquette has it. Oh, yes. Yeah, especially with them being small, you got to own the glass with Oso. I mean, you just have to own the glass. Marquette with it, leading by three. Oso against the Silva. Oh, it's too little in there. The baby little. hook around it in. It's too little in there. Now we'll see if it's a, do they force Colorado now, to change. Yeah, and I don't think so. I think Colorado likes their offense right now with yeah. the smaller guys in. So, and they know that uh, offense is where the, how they're going to win this game. Five in a row by Colorado. Now five in a row by Marquette. Marquette up five. Simpson still dribbling. Simpson still dribbling. He got 15 to shoot. He still dribbles. Now he gives back out to Hadley. They got 12 to shoot. At least the guy you want to keep it. De Silva fakes the three, now goes to the basket, get in inside foul on Marquette. Cam and I Jones. think they got Cam Jones, that's number four. He yeah, had which, to prevent, which is fine, which is fine. He tried to prevent the layup that was going to go to O'Brien. Cam Jones picks up number four, we got a timeout. 7.46 for the Sweet 16. Marquette up five, 69-64 over Colorado. They, Colorado, will shoot two when play resumes. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey Marquette fans, we know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it too here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, 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 I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. In sports, you're always thinking of that next play. It's the same with business. Cintas has the products, people, and solutions that help keep you a step ahead. They'll make sure you have the right work apparel for almost any job imaginable. Provide first aid and safety supplies. Install and service your AEDs. Test and inspect your fire protection systems and regularly stock your cleaning products. So visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Famer Tony Smith, Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin Bank. Marquette led by five, and then Colorado scored five, and then Marquette scored five, so we're still Marquette by five, but Colorado's going to go to the line, but a major note. 
Nobody in the game has more than two fouls. Nobody for Marquette has more than one. They've committed only six fouls other than Cam Jones, who now is at four, and he has to come out. Trying to save the layup to knock the ball away from O'Brien before he can dunk it. And they say he got him somewhere. They haven't said much of anybody getting anybody anywhere. In the second half, in the second half, through the first 12 minutes and 15 seconds, that is the third foul call. Three yeah. on both teams. I'm going to write that down. Three fouls in 12-15. We'll see what happens in the final 7:46. As you not taught a, me, it's not a it's not a very uh, physical game. It right. hasn't been a physical game. It's up and down perimeter game. But Marquette's got they got to dig in defensively here. They really, like I said, they're giving up 30 points already. Right. Colorado's not shooting as well, but they are six of ten three point shooting. Yeah. That's 18 points of the 30. Which is which is good enough. They had only three three point shots they made in the entire first half. O'Brien goes to the line. Luke O'Brien doesn't score much. 65% free throwing. The first one is good. They made two. They look beautiful in the first half. Yeah. They are 4-4 four four free throwing. Marquette is 1-4. of four. Yeah. No free throws to this point. Marquette by four. Second free throw. Rims out. Marquette gets it. That was nice of him. Yeah, it was. And that rim looked tight on that one, didn't yes, it? Soft. It did. Kolick brings it up. Marquette up four with a basketball. I'm begging for a three. Kolick in front of us. Kolick drives against Woods to the basket. Layup, no good, but a foul. Kolick liked that I, matchup. I didn't even see that one. Oh. He's got the fresh one. But you got to be careful. The freshman is long. He's absolutely long. Which and he, means he you don't, could get by well, him and he could. Well, you can get by him, but he gonna, he's going to recover with his length. Yeah. Uh, but that's what Kolick did a good job. He, he dribbled into him. He's got to put a body on him. And he's got serious arms. Got to be 37. What do you think? Yeah, he's, just, you know, he's, a, he's a legit 6'7". There, long. Yeah, if he goes in the draft, he will definitely be a first-round pick. Kolick rims out the first free throw. Marquette yeah. up four. Free throw, the free throw bugaboo is, is still around. One of five for a team. Yep. Second free throw by Kolick. Marquette up four. Taking a little extra time. Free throw is good. Pure. Marquette up five. 7.33 for the game. Simpson will walk it up. A.J. Simpson, their leading scorer. Big stop here. He's up to 16. He averages 20. Could be a big stop here. You get that thing up to seven. Yep. Stevie Mitchell. possession lead. That's Hadley really... has it 25 feet away. Hadley holding. Looking to pass. Okay. Hadley still holding. 13 back to Simpson. Simpson, one dribble into Hadley. Double oh, team to the corner. Open O'Brien open three. He missed it. Rebound, though, to Silva. He's under the basket. He wants to follow. He'll give to a flash. Okay, O'Brien. Block. Shot blocked and goes out of bounds. The new shot blocker, David Joplin, whacked another one. Marquette, very lucky, right, Tony, that they didn't give up the three or the follow. Well, still, they're, they're you know, again, that changed. You, you're giving up in. offensive rebounds. Colorado's changed to the big guy. They get in the corner to Hadley. Seven minutes left. Marquette up five. Pass Colorado has be careful. He gives back to Simpson. He's got an open 16-footer. Good. Damn, it's good. 18 now for K.J. Simpson. Marquette's lead is three. 70-67. For a spot in the sweet 16, 648 left. Kolick. Kolick on a drive. Flips. Bad pass. Stolen by Hadley. Threw it right to Hadley. He'll come the other way. Hadley stops top of the circle. Shaky pass, but Simpson has it on a wing. He'll drive baseline, double team, ball knocked away. Stolen! Stevie Mitchell with a huge steal. I don't know how he did it. He's Stevie Mitchell, Mitchell just took it from him. Well, Mitchell's Simpson, Simpson, up Simpson, the Simpson, Simpson picked up his dribble, so he was kind of stuck there. Stevie Mitchell just looked like he seriously hurt. There's no look at him. And now Kolick has it. Marquette with the ball and a three-point lead. Kolick on a drive to the basket. Fakes, fakes. He'll lay it up and in. He took on Hadley, and he took on Lampkin. Marquette he's he's going to keep it himself. He gets in there. Everybody's expecting a pass like they yep. stole the last one. He said, you know, this time I'm going to take it myself. Marquette up five. Ball knocked oh, away. Joplin. He's Joplin the other way against Williams. He'll go to the basket with the left hand. No good. And no foul call coming the other way. Simpson yeah, that's wants when, the That's when you got to drive through the guy. There you go. To Hadley. Oh, He'll travel. go look into Lampkin. He lays it up and in. Marquette's lead. We thought it would get bigger, but instead it drops down to three. 538 yeah, left. Joplin's got to go right at him. Yes. Or he's right. got to understand that he has Stevie Mitchell running with him. Drop it off to him. Marquette Simpson's with the ball. Call him. Leading by three. Kolick on a drive. Kicks back out Joplin. Fake the three. Joplin is fouled from behind by Hadley. 
nothing close to the bonus. That's only team foul number three. And I can imagine how everybody's going. They called a foul. They did. Right. Five twenty-six left. Marquette up three with the ball. And with the foul, we'll have 20 to shoot. They'll inbound along the baseline. Again, Cam Jones with 18, but four fouls, and he comes back in the ball game. I think Stevie Mitchell's coming out, is he? No, who's coming out? Stevie Mitchell, who looks like he's been hit by a truck, but he didn't want to come out. He's wobbly. All right, Marquette Kolek the inbound. They're trying to free Cam Jones. They have him in the corner. Open three. Rims no good. Rebound to Colorado. They got, played a lot. They got everything they wanted. The Silva, the trailer, brings it up. Marquette up three, and we've got a foul, and things are changing. Foul against Oso. It's Oso. Yeah, but this is a lot of nothing foul because no one's in the bonus. Correct. I don't think anybody's even close. And now Stevie Mitchell, the stay out is short. I think Cam Jones is going to come out. Well, he came in for the inbounds to set up that play to get him the three. Right. Five seven. They're trying to keep, also trying to keep men in it. He's yeah. going to be back in there at some point for the for, for the, the rest of the game. But Colorado to inbound, Marquette up three. They get 23 to shoot. In trying to get corner. him moved up a little bit. Yeah. Williams outside the arc. That's a bad gamble. Simpson, open three. He missed it. Rebound. Chase Ross. Great rebound. That's a bad gamble by Steve Mitchell. He tried to get come up behind the, the dribbler, the ball handler, which sometimes is good. Good job, but you got to be very careful. Marquette up three with the ball. Five minutes left for the Sweet 16. Kolick, slow dribble, 30 feet away. Kolick now with it on the double team. Can't the mismatch. They don't want it. Kolick to the basket against Lampkin. Leaves it up and in. How does he do that against the wide body guy so big? Yeah, well, Lampkin does it. He's not going to go for the up fake because he got, right. he got caught on it last time. Williams all the way to the basket. Layup is good. Man, Great he's take. good. The freshman Cody Williams and Marquette's lead after the basket immediately back down to three. Yeah, but you let him get to his right hand, though. A lot of people can do damage going to their right hand. Make him go left. Especially if it's strong, yeah. Kolick, slow dribble, 40 feet away right in front of us. Marquette up three. 423 left. Kolick, top of the circle on Simpson. Kolick is going to go to the basket. Layup, he missed it. Rebound, Simpson pulls it down. They're now in the front court. Yeah, numbers. In from the right. Hadley will go to the basketball, knocked away, and they're going to call a foul on Chase Ross, who then goes down. He's okay. That's just team foul number four on Marquette. First time Kolick didn't get the layup to drop. He's got 19 on 9 of 12 shooting. Yeah, kind, of, kind, of, kind of short armed that one a little bit. Okay. Came up short on it. Marquette up three. Colorado to inbound. 4 10 remaining. I want to give up a three here. All right. Lampkin gets it. One dribble back to Simpson. He doesn't get the open three. Instead, he penetrates in the lane, eight feet away. Back out to Silva. Open three. Good. Game time. He's good. They're all hitting. Game tied. 355 left. Marquette up five. Then tied. Marquette up five. Now tied again. 74 all. 348 left. Kolick 40 feet away. Kolick still outside the arc. Kolick wants somebody to get the ball to. He gets it to Joplin. Top of the circle. 14 to shoot. Joplin against the silver. Back to Kolick. Kolick on a drive. Nobody on him. 12 feet away. Around and out. Heartbreak. It's like he didn't want to shoot it maybe. Marquette. Comes up empty. Colorado has the ball. Game tied. 325 left. Simpson 40 feet away. Simpson further out. With it is Hadley. He's 40 feet away. Hadley trying to go back door. Oh, wide open. Simpson wide open three. He missed it. Rimmed on twice. Rebound tapped around. Marquette has it in Kolick. And Lapkin's going. I was fouled. Now he's whistled. But Marquette brings it up. Game is tied. 302 left. 74 all. Timeout Marquette. And Cam Jones is coming back in. That's why the timeout occurred. Check to see if it's a 30 or a full. We got three minutes left. Marquette 74. Think about yep. it. Colorado's got 40 points already. Yep. And We're gonna, we got Marquette. a timeout. Marquette inbound when play resumes. Game tied. Three minutes left for the Sweet 16 timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Every time you swipe your Golden Eagles debit card with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, order online, pay at the register, or at self-checkout, pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Bank. Member FDIC. You know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? 
What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey, CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance. I'm Sawyer, and I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, 74 all Marquette in Colorado with three minutes left. Look at a couple things. Second chance points, 16 to 8 in favor of Colorado. 11 offensive rebounds to three for Marquette. The key in the second half, Colorado, 7 of 14. And three-point shooting. They made only three in the first half. Not surprised. You predicted because they are very good shooting threes. The they have a, I mean, again, I, that's why I say defense. You, you've given up 40 points, and again, you talk about the offensive struggles. Well, that's what it's been the second half for Marquette. Yeah. 29 points only when uh, we had talked about Colorado giving up 100 points to Florida, yep. and suddenly you can't score. Yep. And uh, even though Marquette's shooting 54% is Two of seven, three-point shooting. But we're tied. They'll decide it in the final yeah. three minutes. Fouls will not be a situation other than Cam Jones with four. Only three team fouls in Colorado, yep. four on Marquette. Yeah, an uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic 11 uh, turnovers for Marquette. Yes. That's, That's the other thing. You don't typically vote. see that. <laughs> the official's talking to us. Yeah, he said March, March Madness. Madness. Yeah. He said, wow, good game. Good game, yeah. I prefer not That's a what good happens. game. That's what happens. Yeah. Color Inc. and Experimental Communications Company create packaging, visual displays, and retail signage inspires action. Visit colorinc.com. We go, partner. Three minutes. Conversation today. Yep. Three minutes. Marquette's got the ball. Cam Jones back in. Who wants oh, it? So Who wants it? Who's going to execute? Colick spins on the dribble. Colick jump pass to the corner. Chase Ross open three. Go. That's humongous. Oh, baby. Bigger than oh, baby. Yeah, they got to get a stop here. They cannot allow a three. Don't allow a three. Dig in defensively. Run them off the line. Fearless Chase Ross. Simpson on a drive. To the basket. He gets the layup. Jotham couldn't block it. And that was almost a pregame layup. Or what? Trying to avoid the three by Simpson. Yeah, which is which is fine. You're still up one. Right. You didn't Two. give him a three, which is you can't allow. Can't Two. allow a three. 227 left. Marquette up a point, 77-76. Kohler on a drive. Jump pass back out to Joplin. Joplin against the silver, backing in on him. Fakes, fakes again to the basket with a left hand, missed the shot. Rebound comes to Lampton, and Colorado has it with Marquette up a point. He got close, just didn't finish. Simpson 45 feet away, 206 left. Got to dig in and get stops. Marquette up a point. Simpson, he's looking to go to the hoop. Double oh, team jump ball. and jump ball. Jump ball, possession arrow to Marquette. Oh, baby. Simpson has been so good, but he missed that open three. Now the turnover on the possession arrow to Marquette. 201 left. Got to score here. You're getting tough. Got to score here. You got to have it. All right. They thought they had it on uh, Joplin, but he missed the closing shot. It was challenged. Not easy. Colick walks it up. The Marquette fans stand. Marquette up a point. 155 left with the ball against Colorado. Colick standing dribble. They got 18 to shoot. Directing traffic. Really confused on what's going on right now. Now they give in to Oso. He's under the basket. Had it lost. It's stolen away. Oh, yeah. Knocked Somebody away got by a hand Lampton. on that. Now Williams brings it up. Marquette by a point. 140 left. Colorado has the ball to Hadley. Top of the circle. Yeah, he's got a score. So. Hadley against Joplin. Hands the ball back to De Silva. They got 15 to shoot. Marquette by a point. Silva got to get up on him, One, though. Yep, 128 left. Marquette by a point. Colorado has it. 10 to shoot. De Silva, top of the circle. Now drives on Joplin. He's double teamed. Kicks it back out. Williams has a wide open three. No good. Rebound Marquette and Chase Ross. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Marquette by a point, 108 left. Kolick standing dribble, 40 feet away. They're down 18 to shoot. Kolick still with it, gives to Joplin, back to Kolick. Kolick drives under the basket. Kolick in the lane. The floater for four, good! Beautiful. He took over. Get up. You gotta get up, they Lamp gotta get up. No Lamp threes. Is there. Marquette up three. Timeout, Colorado. 
of baby Tyler Kolick. Marquette up three with 50.6 left. We're not going anywhere. Got to get up. Oh, full time out. Extending it to a full. We'll take a break. Colorado will inbound when play resumes. Marquette up three. 50.6 remaining. Marquette basketball timeout from Learfield. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic. This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, ow, ah, I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Banks. Member FDIC. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette by three. Colorado will bring it up, 50.9 left. Only four team fouls on Marquette, three against Colorado. Second half, Tyler Kolick, 13 points, five assists, and a huge hoop. Yeah, the situation now is you, you got to put yourself in a, in a situation where you're in control of what's going on, meaning you can't give up a three on this end, right? Yep. Make them come back with twos. So force them to get a two, make it a tough two. Ideally, you get a miss. Uh, then you got to run another play because there's going to be enough time on the clock. But you want to be in a situation where they got to foul you and you got to go step up to the line and make two free throws the to keep to this Williams. game at three. Williams holding 40 feet away. They got 20 to shoot. Now they get to the Silva still outside the You got to make the Silva go around you. The Silva, now they get a foul on go. Chase Ross. They got Not plenty. A problem. That's team foul five. And we're down to 42.8 left. I don't know that Marquette is trying to foul, but they, I'm sure, with shot are aware. Yeah, and, the thing, and think about with Colorado, with only three fouls, if yeah. Marquette gets the ball, they have to chase. They got a lot of fouls to get before you get they the bonus. They want Williams to have the ball. He gives to De Silva. They, no, they want De Silva to come off and shoot a jump Against Chase Ross. De Silva, Marquette with a double team. De Silva in the corner to Williams. Back out. Hadley, he'll try a three. Shot, no. no good. Rebound knocked not around. Shot. It's back to midcourt in the backcourt. And now they have it. That. They still have it. 23 seconds left. Williams on a drive. He's fouled by Oso. And Williams will get two free throws. Hey, which is with fine. Head up three, and we're down to 21 seconds. Now here's what they're going to get. There a lot of time going off the clock because right. they got to chase and foul Colorado's only four got times. three fouls. They yep. got to foul them four times. Cam Jones is going to come in. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know how. It'll be tough. 21 seconds left. Marquette's still up. Three. First things first. You got to worry about getting this rebound yes, on a miss. Great point. He's getting two right here, but yeah. Lampkin is there, the big guy Eddie Lampkin, and also inside the Silva at six nine. Marquette up three. We have 21.2 left. we are spot in the Sweet 16. Yeah, and I'm sure Coach is going to be letting them know, listen, we got a foul right away. Cody Williams. He's already just told him. Yeah. Foul right away. Cody Williams, the freshman, 72% free thrower. He gets two free throws. The first one is big, no good. Big spot for a freshman. Box out. You need five guys. Five guys blocking now, out. Now Lampkin comes out because they're not worried about the rebound as much, I think. As well, they're going to have to foul. Yeah, well, you got to so be we'll worried see. about the, the. Well, Marquette's got to be worried about the rebound. Right. You want Williams to make it, actually, now, right? Yeah, that would be ideal, yes. Okay, Marquette up three. Williams, one more free throw for Colorado. 21.2 left. Will he try to miss it? I don't think so. I don't think free so. throw is pure. Marquette up two. Oso inbounds the ball to Joplin. He's double teamed. Joplin splits the double team and is fouled, and we're down to 17.8. And that is just team foul four. Think of this. Colorado has to foul three more times to get Marquette to the line. We're down to 17.8 left. We're going to get a timeout? Yep. And that's what you tell them. They're not going to have time to do that trap every time. You've got to let three or four seconds go off the clock. Marquette just playing keep away before they get fouled. Good news for them is they have the possession arrow. So as you Marquette, you can't just fold up with the ball Great and let point. them reach in and tie you up. you got to pivot. You got to be strong because they they really need to foul immediately. They can't let seconds go off the clock each time. Right. Inbounder cannot move. 
17.8 remaining for a spot in the Sweet 16. Marquette up 79-77. You think the official will come over again and say Bart's badness? Yeah. No, I think he's done he's talking might, to yeah. us. He's right? done talking to us. He's got to. But you know why he came over? Because he knows I never give the name to the officials, so he never has to worry about. Oh, he, he knows that. Oh, I'm sure everybody knows. Because he knows you. He's seen me. I don't know that he knows me. <laughs> All right, Marquette against full and, court pressure. Go the full 94. Most of all. The You're going to have to make two free throws at some point. Right. Yep. To seal this game. Marquette up two. 79-77 over Colorado. 17.8 left. And, and, you want, and you want your cockiest player at the free throw line. Yep. That would be Kolick. But again, they only have 14 fouls. They got to foul three more times. Marquette can just stay away a little bit on the inbounds. Marquette's going to run down the floor. Cam Jones has it. Double team to Kolick. Kolick ahead. Joplin has it. We're down to 14. Now they foul at 13. That was brilliant. That was better than brilliant. They're at team foul five. They still got to get two more fouls, and we're down to 13 seconds. Yep. And he can throw it in the backcourt. Yep. Do whatever they want. Marquette sets it up again. Chase Ross will win that again. 13 seconds left. Marquette up two with the ball. Only five team fouls on Colorado. They get it to Kolick in the corner. He's double teamed and he's fouled before he could pass it. Oh, he wanted to get it to a wide open teammate. Now we're down to 11.7 left. Next and foul is going to the line. Next foul will go to the line. I'm betting they get it to Kolick. We'll see. Yeah, and again, listen, just Chase nothing, not, gonna nothing, nothing, nothing here matters. Just make two free throws. That's it. Yep. Both teams have a timeout left. Will Marquette use one? I guess not. 11.7 left. Marquette up two. Inbounding and Chase Ross is looking at. Uh, they're gonna just get they're it. They're gonna to try. To get it to Kolick. He won't shoot the layup. They play keep away. Down to nine seconds. Joplin then gives to Oso and they foul Joplin with 7.4 remaining on a one and one. Marquette is up two. Well, they were playing keep away, and then the decision yep. was you play keep away, but do you want to have Kolick shooting the free throws? Well, yeah. doesn't matter and you, now. And you still got to make two. Still got to make two. 7.4 left. Both teams have a timeout left. Marquette is up two. That is team foul seven. So the idea was keep away. Now Joplin at the line. Marquette up 79-77. David Joplin will shoot the one and one. Marquette up two. And if you go up three, here it is. Do you foul so Joplin, they don't get a three? Free throw is good. David Joplin, and it's now three. All right, you say it. Say what it is if he makes another one. It's a what possession game? <laughs> we are the keenest observers of the obvious. Marquette up three. 7.4 left. And They're going to foul over the half court. We're not going to allow him to get a three up here. All right, we'll see. Joplin. With Marquette up three, seven four left, so point four left. Second free throw is pure. David Joplin just hit it both. We got a timeout, Marquette. Oh baby, times ten. David Joplin. I didn't tell you what his free throw percentage was. I didn't tell you that Marquette was two out of six free throwing in the game, right? Because none of it mattered. He just had to step up, and you knew it was going to come down to this at some point. I'm going to have to step up and make two but free throws. there's no way in that situation you were expecting David Joplin at the line. You would have expected Tyler Kolick. You well, would have listen, expected someone Colorado, else. But they played keep away. They, yeah, they did a major screw-up. That's got to be fouled immediately on the first touch. Right. Whoever touched it, you got to stay in man-to-man. -man. I got to foul the guy. They didn't I'm, let Marquette pass it three times before they were able to I, get it. They barely feeling, got Joplin. I'm feeling sweet 16. Should I be feeling it? Marquette's up four with 7.4 left. Should be feeling nothing right now. Wow, come on. Way too much time. Come on. Way too much time. A lot of, a lot of things can happen in 7.4 uh, seconds. It's yes, just, again, it's, it's, it's free throws. It's going to come down to free throws. Well, no, I, I would I would want Joplin at the line again. Uh, Colorado's going to get a look here, whether they get a three up or get a two up, make or miss. He did talk to us again. <laughs> He's getting too old. He figures he better talk to me now because I'm not going to be here next year. <laughs> that dude is old. Better get to him. What did he say? So, all right, Marquette inbounding. Excuse me, Colorado inbounding. Bad mistake. 7.4 left in Indianapolis. Marquette, a win, and it's the Sweet 16. 
81-77. Don't, Marquette. Can't let him roll the ball his first day. Joplin hit two free throws to put Marquette up four. They're going to come with some kind of screen or a handoff. Yeah. I, I got to believe Colorado's going to try to knock a three down. I yeah, you bet. Hadley's going to inbound. Gets it to Simpson in the backcourt. Down to six. Simpson at midcourt. Simpson still has it with three. In the corner. It's no good. Marquette's won it. It's over, baby. There it is, baby. Sweet 16. Uh-oh, hold on. Go ahead, Jeff. The officials are going to the scores table, and they're saying it's over. Yep, that's it. That's, it's over. Now it's the official go day. He's shaking it, and it's over. It's over. That's sweet 16. Where are we going? We're going to Dallas. Where are we going? Going to Texas. Let's go. Two Let's big go. free throws by David Chopin. We're going to keep it here. We'll talk to one of the players. Sweet 16 for the two-seed Marquette, eighth-ranked team in the country. It was not easy. The lead at 11, but as it turned in the second half, Colorado had a lead. 55-54, Marquette had to win it again. And oh, baby, there's better than the Sweet 16, but it's still always special to be playing in the second weekend. Yeah, so... Uh Hey, listen, he did what you had to do. It's not pretty, and that's, you know, that's what the ref came over to talk to us about, March Madness, right? That's exactly what he said, March Madness. Why? Because it's madness. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, you would have never, after the first half, the way Mar dominant Marquette looked, how easy it looked for them, you would have never thought that that was going to be the final. That would be that close of a ball game, and it would come down to what it came down to. Chase Ross with the huge three. 12 points, five and you talk six about shooting. Chase Ross with the huge three. We got Chase Ross. We got Chase Ross. We got, the, we got the man with the huge three coming on with us. Now, you know what his name is now? No, what's his name Sweet now? Sweet 16, baby. Sweet 16. Oh, yes, sir. Came through with the humongous three, Chase. I mean, after, after last year, the first thing I thought about, you guys understand what it feels like to lose this game and go home. And I gotta, I gotta believe that. I mean, I know if I'm in the locker room, I'm like, we ain't doing that again. Hell no. <laughs> That's right. It's gotta feel great going back to. Wait, are you familiar with Texas? Of course. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, you got, you gotta be happy. Talk, talk about the game. The, the first half, it had to feel good. You guys, it looked like everything was flowing in the first half. Um, first half, we uh, we came in. We wanted to start off better than what we did yesterday. Yep. So that was the big emphasis starting off the game. Um, set uh, in halftime, second half. We knew how they was going to come out with a big lead, so... Push that lead out to nine right before the half with a nice little burst. But in the second half, we really broke it open. What allowed us there in that second half to, to push that game out? I think we, I think we just settled in. Um, and it's also kind of good, like, you want to win that first game. You don't want to blow them out too. You want a little bit.